All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the year. Once again, welcome to our 2v2 Tech Team Grand Finals. And I gotta say, I'm super, super excited to be here today, joined by one of the best in the entire scene, as always. It is my boy Fabs. Ooh. Fabs, what's poppin'? We are good. Excited for this uh, 2v2 Finals. I see all the big names in here, and it you is. guys have been sweating every weekend to get It here, is gonna so. be a wild, wild ride, and I'm so happy that we actually managed to create another additional side tournament, so to say, a side league here for the competitive scene. Once again, thank you to all the players. Thank you for all the people out there who make this possible. In the first place, we literally have phenomenal players all over the place, insane teams from across the entire globe, Fabs. It's going to be very, very interesting to watch, in my opinion. You matches, and now let's talk about them in let's detail. Let's talk about it. We have eight this qualifying is, teams ready. who made it, who won Ooh. a qualifier tournament. We hosted eight of them in total, and here are all the eight winners from the last weeks and it's gonna be insane and i see bloody tomato wait a minute why don't we see it here in the front with a 50 euro donation the first one we got here today saying let's get that party started thank you for your content keep it up and good luck with your partner plus goal bloody tomato thank you so much for the generosity here for the players today everything we crowdfund of course is gonna go right into that juicy prize pool so hopefully all these guys decide you know what fabs in season two for our 2v2 league we're gonna sign up again they should because it's <laughs> gonna be even better on the next season we might potentially have the cross play you know but who, who, knows? who knows yes who knows Fingers crossed, but now let's talk about the matches, because I don't think you guys out there are ready. I mean, match number one, we're gonna have EU versus Middle East. VGY Ooh. and Kanimani, our number one seed in this tournament. These guys won the first qualifier, and since the first one always is the most stacked one, they yeah. deserve that one spot. But it doesn't even matter what the seeding is, because every single team today, Fabs, incredible. These guys are all demons. I can't lie to you, man. The Reaper and Hamu as well. I'm pretty sure Hamu is still rocking that Tanya. Uh, and Reaper, he plays whoever he feels like playing. And this is going to be the top tier showdown. I think VGY is going to be rocking, you know, the, the, the honest show, but the rest is going to be just straight, I straight hope, top tier. I hope well. that VGY brings that big, big daddy here to the screen. Big X, show in action. But of course, that team is insane. Very hard to beat. Kanimani, one of the upcoming stars, or we can actually call him a star already in this scene. Oh, he is. One of the best we have in the entire world. But Reaper and Hamu, both of them can definitely keep up here. And if they have a good day, this could be very, very close, Fabs. I know, right? These guys put in the show. And I'm seeing people in chat getting hyped over a certain team here on the second <laughs> I, of set. Of course! I oh. see all the <laughs> NA people here in the chat with us. And of course, they are rooting for King Gambler and Pulse. These two are two demons. Demon Johnny Demons. And not only that, but they also made Pro Comp Top 8. And they're playing later today, right after this. So this is like <laughs> their just... tournament, tournament the before. Now I'm saying, and the double Johnny piece. I hope you guys did your homework. <sighs> Sparks and Hourglass. I hope your homework has been done because these two Johnnies, I think Pulse is playing Johnny Chameleon and the Gambler is still playing Johnny Goro. So oh, it's going to be really, really sweaty to see what is, these boys bring to and us. I'm super happy that it happened that way. King Gambler and Pulse, Sparks and Hourglass, they're actually able to play an NA exclusive set. NA, right? That means yeah. ping is going to be super, super low and even the NA team, which makes it to the second round. I mean, it's going to be quite decent, so I can't wait for it. But that's only the upper half, the first eight warriors, so to say. There is more Fabs, more Middle East action, Faisal and Moody. Oh. And this might be the sleeper pick of the day. I know a lot of people are talking about Gambler. A lot of people are talking about Kani Mani and VGY. But I think they forget about Faisal, bro, and Moody. Yeah. Moody and Faisal are a team of beasts. These guys do their homework every single time they compete. And, uh, and they always grind with top players as well from the Middle East and everywhere in the world. I'm pretty sure some people that were playing in top tournaments were, uh, I think Makaran played the, like a matchup with Tanya with Faisal at least 150 times before yep. he went to the tournament, to the finals or whatever exactly. last week. So this guy, these guys are giving XP <laughs> to everybody, you know? It's gonna be, and, it's gonna be insane to watch versus the two brothers, of course, Taki oh. and the Sarded, our Baraka loyalists in this bracket as well. And then last but not least, Fabs, I mean, who would have thought Ooh. the spiciest jalapeno of them all here in this grand finale today, 
teamed up with Creed. I mean, Why? another oh, Johnny. Gosh. This is going to be top tier heaven. You guys know it. Whenever there's a season finale, it's going to be insane. But not everyone plays top tier in this. Rotha, of course. The home team. <laughs> the Rotha Arena boys. And Markuran. Team Arena in this one, even though we are not allowed to be biased. Of course, we want to keep are it professional. But this is going to be fantastic to watch. Entire winner side is on stream today. This entire tournament from start to finish. So I hope you guys have something to drink. I hope you guys are ready for some of the most insane players in the entire world. This is going to be good, Fabs. Once again, if you're feeling generous today, if you like what we do in the arena and you want to support these players, please don't support Fabs and me. Please support them because they fought for this spot today. And we already have 12%. Crush off that prize, cool. Runner Adams, thank you so much. Bloody Tomato, once again, I see Uncle Blazer, Sven with the resubscription, Schnee Pookie, K Mac. Fabs, it's time to sweat. You know what we're here for. Let's watch some MK1. This is some good MK1 as well, so I hope to see some, some sweaty sets right now. And I'm listening to some names already. Oh, and I, I see a big boy on my screen chat with a big Ooh. axe in his hand. Video games, yo! <laughs> is bringing show and Hamu, or uh, i think he goes by so best so high on psn going with the sindel sub-zero pick here he knows something i don't and i would like oh go sindel what, the, what, is, what is that round start <laughs> the end lip start honestly you need a good reaction to immediately just input forward cameo like it's like knowing that it's gonna be uh fan lift Fabs, do you want to see the viewer prediction on this one? Oh, like, are we like even allowed right? to show that 97% no. on VGY and Kanimani, more than half a million channel points on them? I mean, these these two are low-key, like, one of the best in EU West, and on the, one of the best in world as well, so I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if, if everyone is biased towards them. But don't don't count them out right now. We got the, the boy uh, Amui rocking the Cindy piece. Oh, he's loving those fan lifts, and I, I like to see how people are implementing more fan lifts. And oh, and there's thing. the chameleon, the new addition to the... Excuse me, Fabs, what double is happening here with Double Knives with the 100 euro donation for our players today? Double Knives, how can we thank you for that? Of course, Fabs and I, we speak for the players today because they are kind of busy on screen. Thank you so much, Double Knives, for the support and for yeah, so keeping this going. And that is good what I see from VGY. Hamu still has the live lead, and we're just walking through that glaive. Yo, round number one. Hamu featuring Sindel Chameleon. Oh, fans, the community. Everybody's dropping. They have our this. bag eliminated with the 1337. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Overhead, and that is so plus on it. Ooh. Press the press. Oh, boom. And this is where it starts. He's gonna freeze, right? Get the. Oh, no, freeze. Okay, okay. He's, he's, he's being generous with it. Good block. Ooh, that's... that is a punish all day long. VGY even got that little micro dash for the perfect spacing. Very close match so far, Fabs. I like it. I have seen no players just do that overhead off of everything because it just catches everybody, you know? That punish. Oh, not poke special. Oh. oh, and right now it looks like Hamu gets a little bit nervous. We get a little bit of overcommitting faps, and VGY is saying thank you very much. Hold that 37. Wait, we are still going. Hold that 41 burger. Where's the sub zero? He doesn't he does want to freeze him during combos. Okay, I think uh, the reason why Hamu did the scream on block is because he thought VGY was going to do a um, fast block attempt. Fabs, what is, what is happening? What is happening on screen and what is happening in the chat? Bloody Tomato, did he just drop? Fabs, what are they doing? Oh my god, big follow for you as well. We are almost done with the... No, that is insane. They haven't even let the first game happen. No. They dropped... I I'm pretty this. sure I that VGY, he is seeing all these donations flying onto the screen and he's saying, you know what? Let me sit up real quick. There is some money on the line tonight. And that is only because of this insane community. We announced this 2v2 series without a prize pool because, you know it, we have the regular league which basically consumes all our funds. But these guys, you never disappoint. Thank you so much, everyone, for being a part of this and, of course, for 
giving those players a reason to sweat here for a little bit of money, even though it is not a little bit of money, Fabs. I mean, 65% crush, more than 300 euro. Big Baba Frankie, Bloody Tomato. You guys are absolute legends. And Christy with the resub as well. Man, I, I didn't expect this one. They are showing up today. So, and once again, a reminder potentially for everyone watching this for the first time on YouTube asking, wait, how does that work? The thing is, every player starts with two lives in our 2v2 format. And at the top of the screen, you can see the remaining lives. So Hamu lost the first round. Now we are down to one. If he goes down to zero, his teammate Reaper is going to step in. Yeah, two lives apiece. And then they rotate after someone loses their life stuff. So. Oh, and he goes with the, with the Tanya piece. And I like it, honestly. Go with what you feel. I feel like uh, Xiao doesn't really have tools to uh, get around Sanji's pressure. Especially when like she's always conditioning you from almost mid to full screen range. Oh, that is right, Fabs, yes. Ooh. Goes AFK. <laughs> oh, you see God. the patience from VGY? It looked like he gave Hamu a second chance to overthink that. Move the big slapper. That move is the, the range he's using. He's keeping VGY so far. Yep. Ooh, but that's the big slapper. That's how they call me here in these German streets, Fabs. Big slapper. <laughs> but VGY, not Ooh. impressed. He's saying, Hamu, you can switch characters as often as you want. I'm going to win this. You cannot escape the Axemen. Oh, Empires. And the pickup. He's not even letting Hamu do his shenanigans. He's trying to jump and, and do his things. Nope. Thinning too. It is just so impressive seeing video games, yo, make this character work. Yeah, not many people, um, I mean, a few Blizzard and they do it, but he's like the only one in the EU just, just consistently showing Shao. Even in MK11, he was doing this he Shao as well. He is the best Shao in the entire world, by far. He is Shao, but now Amu is like, how the hell do I stop this guy? The drill kick! Oh, that is an insane conversion from Hamu, but unfortunately didn't get that much damage out of it. Torpedoes coming through as well. Ooh, I like this throw attempt. Gonna get the Goro back in action after this knockdown. And what's for breakfast? Goro? Cross jump. Hamu Ooh, found the opening. I think VGY tried to anti F, tried to uplock, was a bit, little bit late on it. Hamu not giving up, Fabs. We have the life lead secured now, even though VGY is trying to bring it back as we speak. Side I think Hamu is committing a little too hard when he has the left against VGY. Oh, that was clutch. There we go. That's one round. And that is going to be Stay enough cool. damage. Another side switch. This time from Hamu's side. VGY back against the wall. Let's see. Oh, they are fighting for that corner position. Oh, still trying to get something going with the pressure. There we go. It's really tough to press buttons against Tanya because her staggers like auto time each other so well with the frame data. So. Oh, where's the go rope? Sending two stagger into a sweep and Hamu, of course, using one of the best armored moves in the game. Oh, but he's using all of his resources right now. And Look no at this stagger game. game from VGY. Another opening. Luckily, that break has saved Hamu. That's the punish. And that is. Time to sub your teammate in Reaper. Right now, I Come gotta through. say it how it is. VGY looking like a freaking Dark Souls boss. 2-0 sweep over Hamu in match number one. But you guys know it. This is 2v2 tag team action. So Reaper has to step up. Do you think he can bring this back, Fabs? Oh, he has to. He has no he has no other choice. He has no other choice. And Reaper, I know, I know what character we're thinking he's gonna pick. <laughs> You Let's have it. a look at it. I see so many people <laughs> in the chat. A warm welcome to more than 400 people live with us. I see the boy Pulse in the chat as well. Coming up after this, teamed up with King Gambler today versus Sparks and Our Glass of Rain. So you guys can already know this is going to be some insane MK1 action. Teammate stepped up. All right, Reaper, I'm looking at the timer as this round starts. You better not be moving or anything like <laughs> oh, that. Oh, yes. There we're, we go. We are watching this. Once again, reminder, this bug from Raiden, aka the move bug itself on round start, it is banned in the arena. Yeah. So if you do it, I'm going to ban your ass. If you get caught by the by the magical eyes you're from us, uh, the eagle right. eyes, you will, you will be getting going home a bit early. K9 
Kano is so like Kano just makes Raiden such a perfect character. You know, everything just loops into e each other. It's amazing. Every knockdown to Kano knives into jump too, and just doesn't move. Ooh. And here comes Reaper. Here comes Raiden, one of the strongest characters in MK1. Let's say it how it is. Especially that combination, Raiden Kano. We see it so many times in the league. Yeah, he, he has to be the top one in this game. At, at least on this current patch. Oh, I like that duck. Reaper. Game. I like it as it's... well. And all of a sudden, VGY is feeling the pressure. Be like Mark. Thank you so much for the gift itself. More Storm Cell. More Kano. I know VGY practice a lot for this matchup because Connie Money is his teammate. You know, and as a good teammate, you should give uh, your homie some games, you know, to help out in this matchup. That was off screen as well. Again. Did you buy a good block? Oh, I'll try to get the punish, but Kano is here to save the day. Down one Storm Cell, and that is Ship City. That is the... That, that ship doing like 3% on block off of a poke is just something else. No. Oh, and that is good. We keep our turn. VG Boy is saying, you know what? Let me press some buttons today. That was good. Clean VGY. Always reacting super fast when it comes to these facing situations. But now, I feel like he, I, I was about to say, he needs to react with Electric Fly as soon as uh, VGY tries to like do the axe projectile. Hey, no, full conversion. And look at the corner carry. Axe on the ground. Now it gets dangerous. Smart from Reaper to poke out of that. Ooh. Guessing right on that mix. That's one more mix going in. He goes for the grab. That grab is untackable because you're just looking for the, the low, the overhead. He's like, nope. He said neutral. Get a grab. And I think VGY is very patient for that. Oh, counter it. Reaper tried to interrupt. Reaper could have potentially, you know, gone for a... Uh... That was good. Doesn't need much to kill. There we go. But VGY plays so safe as well. You know, he really like, he's not afraid of just walking back and taking his time. Yes. So. And... To remind everyone what kind of skill level we are watching this uh, right now, VGY won pro competition, uh, online qualifier, right? And Reaper, yeah. second place, uh, lost to Tekken Master in pro competition qualifier uh, for the Middle East. Yeah, these guys are no joke, man. This is, this is high level stuff. Basically, uh, two of the strongest of their specific region. Reaper here. That, that, that's the problem though. Uh, once Shao Kahn has a life lead and you have to approach him, it, it becomes a chore. Because like he just has like really long range buttons and even though no projectiles, but the Sub-Zero armor just makes it so you don't have to deal with those projectiles and go for a, a trade point. right there. So. And I think especially when you have VGY on the controller, he is such a strong player when it comes down to fundamentals and neutral. Yeah, but I like how Reaper is approaching this. Right now, I mean, might be a bit late on this game specifically, but he kind of found the groove to like, oh, get it. Oh, oh that wasn't a punish. punish. I, I thought that this is going to be one for sure. And once again, off-screen oh. Kano coming in hot. The off-screen Kano, if and nobody got you, got of things coming in hot, I see Sven in the chat with the 50 euro donation. I have to say, I didn't expect you guys to go crazy like that today. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, Fab's best community on planet Earth. <laughs> and VGY is saying, how do you like my armor, bro? I do think uh, Reaper kind of found a way to play, but you, you have like one game left now. You have one game left. That's a problem. Kani Money right now only cheerleading in the back. <laughs> it is oh, so yeah. Impressive. He's, he's like, go, Jordan. Go, Jordan. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> exactly. That's what's happening. VGY hasn't lost a single life so far. And as expected, the entire live audience right now, they are cheering for the non-top tier player, which is VGY in that case. <laughs> They're saying, get that Raiden out. And Kani Mani, he is so bored that he actually decided to un AFK. And he is like, no. you know what? Let me beat Jordan real quick. No. <laughs> oh, man. Perhaps I can't. <laughs> Kani wants to beat his own teammate. General Shaw. He's like, you know what? Somebody has to take this guy out. It's me. Wait, 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 wait. Perhaps I don't want to I hear like a it. single word. No, 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 I'm not saying word, I'm not saying anything. To be fair, this is good. This this matchup right here, when uh, Xiao has a sub-zero. Perhaps when you say like, Xiao is winning this matchup, I'm going to kick no, you no, no, off no, no, the no, Discord. No, 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 no. 
I'm saying it's it's good for tanking. Like, <laughs> okay. It's literally just shout. Like sub zero doesn't really help your neutral as much, you know. And once again, VGY dancing in front of his opponent. That's what we call neutral there in MK1. Cyrex Copter in play. Confirm. Sento 3. Doesn't it's go for the, for the sandwich. Doesn't go for the sandwich. Okay, guy keeps the same side. Oh, Uncle almost hit him before that. Got a block over right on that. Careful. And that poke from Kenshi, in my opinion, one of the best in the game. It is basically a half screen poke. True. true oh, Vichy might drop the combo. Oh my. Resummon. Oh, he doesn't have a resummon available, so he has to go on his way, Kenshi, right now. It's just sword and med. No uncle. Parax available as well. You don't want to whiff against Shao in this situation right here. Even though that down four is really good, he can still whiff punish you. Oh. BGY is like, I'm not going to be in your range of your overhead. Definitely. Because... You can see that he tries to play in that. That's a What the hell is this proximity OS from Jordan? I knew it. BGY was looking for that resummon the whole time. And I think Reaper maybe I like could have gone for a net or um, I don't know. It's just it's tough when you're like in, in human mode Kenshi right there. Down threes. Tries to check him. That was the vertical Cyrex. No punish from BGY. That's going to be a punish for, the for him. Goes to stagger and, and Reaper not able to get it. What in the uncle science is going on right now? There we go. Doesn't have a bar to resummon if he gets a hit. But he needs damage. That's all he needs is damage. Oh, what up? No, no, no. Okay. Ducking in the Sento sandwich has to be like top three. Like, like insane things to do. And they rewarded him, by the way. And that is Who reason why, in a nutshell, sandwich? this man is making reads all day long. Man just ducked in the sandwich? What? He fears nothing. No uncle, no Kenshi. Just, just let me duck that grab. And he has three bars as well, so he can definitely take the mix. Oh, wait. Ooh, oh, that is 18%. good. Yeah, that is a lot not of damage. Vijiwai feeling the pain, but we are not dead yet. No, he has to approach. That's dead. Oh, wait, no way. He, the hater break. He the hater break. Watch him go crazy. Got a boss block that. He boss blocked it. No way. No <laughs> he way. He different. I, I told you. I, I had a feeling he was going to boss block it, but I didn't really believe it, you know? No, 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 no. You know what? Have a good stream, guys. I need to go. I'm ending uh, this. It was nice. No, you it know what, nice. VGY? I'm actually banning you from all future events for that. Get his ass out of my lobby. Don't I hate this dude. This <laughs> this is... no, but... <laughs> no. And Reaper, he is saying, you know what? I had enough. The best show in the world. He is here tonight. Jesus. He really flocked, blocked the uncle and then the sword. And bro just, just casually made it. I, I can't believe it. That was... That was one of the most disgusting things I've seen in a while, Fabs. And we see a lot here on a daily basis. That was... That was our first game. That was our first game, by the way. <laughs> no, that is... That is absolute madness, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And that means VGY and Kanimani in the next round. Compared to all of our other events, please don't forget this is double elimination. So there is a lower bracket available. This is going to be sweaty. Coming oh, up next, though, we need. the match everyone waited for. It's time this. for the NA boys to step up and Ooh. to sweat a little bit. King Gambler and Pulse versus Sparks and Hourglass of Rain. I have absolutely no idea who is going to take this. We need this set. The NA boys going at it at this point. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Tigris made the invite. I was, I was about to say, he's already on it. That's of crazy. I right. We are Pulse. prepared, Fabs. Professional organizing. You know it at this point. Prediction is up as well. Thanks to Lady Elmo and Tigris for helping in the back. While Fabs and I, we are completely useless here. Just uh, true, you know, talking true, a little true. bit. We just yap. We just lie to the people. Be like, oh, that's broken. We just downplay our mains, you know. That's all I do. 67% Gambler and Pulse, but it's changing as we speak. Everyone, get ready. Put your seatbelts on. Next match incoming. All right. Sparks, the goat Tanya. Pretty sure this man has been making eyes pop with that Tanya, and I love it. But Gambler, though. Oh, I think these both of these guys are West. If I'm not so do you want to do you want to see my ping with this lobby? Like what is this? 
Yeah, you don't you do not want to get you on anything with these lobbies. Then. All right, all right. You can see Sparks was lobbing Johnny, by the way, because he was on the character earlier. This is something that you know can can uh, expose you a little. Chat. If I get a one cent donation, I'm un AFKing and beating this entire lobby. No cap. This is all we need. That shower is. <laughs> they don't know that it was you. They don't know that it was literally you playing, not VGY, by the way. Alright, let's go. Number one. <laughs> Torpedo! What Kick. is this stuff? I love it. He's plus frames. Oh, yeah, Gambler kind of not respecting the Goro. And uh, that's how it is. Oh my god. He already read the attempts of that gambler. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy is too in the zone right now. Sparks, you are too locked in right now. Unlock it for a second. There Sparks, we go. Young prodigy. Don't forget it, everyone. Sparks, a very, very young player, in my opinion, a very big talent on top. Can't wait to see what his future brings. But of course, gambler on the other side, not easy to beat, while Sparks doesn't look impressed at all. Sparks is making this seem too easy, bro. These kids are gods nowadays. I can't believe it. No Goro through to help you, and Gambler takes his turn. Oh, they're both using Goro as well. Plus five, or plus ten, like, nobody really knows. Oh, wait a second, disrespecting against Johnny? This is, how, this is what you need to do, you know? Don't let Johnny even play the game. Oh, I like this. Oh, red! Oh, yeah, this is going to look like the Giga Optimal combo or something like that. They Here use the ending Sparks. in Shadow Kick. 31% right to the Kissa Poke oh. Special, and Gambler try to press when he shouldn't. Still his turn. Ooh, pressing right now. Ooh, no way, he just pressed. That's insane. He needs to fatal, yeah, he needs to fatal. It's going to do like from 29 maybe, but it will kill. No. That was good. That was good. And the thing I love oh, the most about these 2v2 tournaments, you see Pulse in the chat, of course, rooting for his teammate. It, it feels like, you know, a, a football match, Fabs. And that's why <laughs> it is so dope every time you have these tag team events. I didn't know he can do 40 on the parry, even post nerf when he has Fatal. That's, this, this, this Fatal damage is insane. Oh, still looking for the opening. I like how Sparks mixes up his staggers with sweep as well. That was gonna be sweet. Still though, nobody wants to commit because they know these powerhouses oh, yes. are literally pressure machines. Gameplay just wants his Goro back and he's gonna be in the zone again. Torpedo kick blocked. Ooh! Where's the 41 immediate whip point is from Sparks? It's sweaty. What did he the P test these guys we're like the dirt way too locked in right now shadow kick comes into goro we're in the corner now oh Here god comes Gambler, and you don't want to be in the corner not versus johnny the pressure machine this is gambler when the, the nobody has a lead by the way he's, he's just chilling not even his bow for him oh sparks oh could have been the confirm No poke special here is going to combo you. Oh, wait, that's... that's Sparks pays the price, doesn't get the breaker. The optimal. He dropped the optimal, but gets it down one. Six frames, by the way. Just like that, though. Wow. Sparks? Sparks is missed by a tiny little bit. If he believed in his staggers earlier and committed to it, he would have got the kill. But, but Gambler using those six frame down ones to, to secure the round. That was good. Perhaps I see close to 500 people in the chat with us live here on Twitch. Of course, a big shout out to the entire YouTube community. We're going to watch this video hopefully tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the show so far. I think a pretty unique approach to competitive NRS uh, 2v2 format, Fabs. But I'm a big fan of it. Yeah, it definitely adds like a little bit more of like rooting for your friends and, and, and you know, adds the, the teammate factor. And everyone can just pick your teams as well, you know. So, more people... A good time. It's a good time. Gambler though takes a life and sparks. Plus five Goro. Oh, you do not want to even. The only button you need to press is R2. Your block button right there. Do not do anything besides that, baby. No launch. No Goro. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell happened? I there? don't even know. That jump through is so illegal. I don't even know how to describe that. There we go. Fatal blow available for uh Oh wait, that's death. 
That is a punish all day long. Gambler knows it, gets the pickup. Round two. Fight. All right, back in neutral. Sparks, what do you got for me? Surely not. Surely not like this. Surely he has one more in him. There we go. Nice. Let's see how he. Oh, I think he's going to put himself in the corner. What, what, what was that sequence, by the way? This is so rough to commentate. I'm happy that Fab is here that? as a professional. <laughs> How did you commentate that? This dude put himself in the corner, he left the corner, went back in the corner, like, hey, make up your mind, bro. Oh no. Oh no, gambler. Oh, dude, Sparks was not willing to give his turn to gambler for that one is, second. There's the Tanya way of I love life. This. I love this. I love this. It's chaotic, you know. You don't even know how to press or when to press. That's one round of peace now. And again, armored wake up. And now we're sliding in those DMs saying, What's up, Joey? <laughs> Still, though, that range time he plays the game. Oh, Joey almost got in. I did that duck. But Sparks knew how to stop it. Trade combo. No way. No way. I'm jinxing him, honestly. That's a Joey special, by the way. That one, elbow into Goro. Oh, the patience. Both of them a little bit afraid to press. Once again, armor. Goro, keep that pressure going. And Joey literally waited until Sparks poked. We could get the punish. Wait a second. Wait. Oh, Breaker comes in. But now, it's live support city. <gasps> no hit confirm. No hit confirmed this time from Sparks. That could have been it. We had fatal blow on deck. A little choke here while pumping. Jim Red is dropping a 50 euro donation oh. to the prize pool. And Gambler eliminating the first player. Fabs, what is happening here? Uh, Sparks had the confirmed twice in those games, but he just went for staggers. And yeah, didn't believe in himself. Joey took it. That was, that was cleaned up. Joey played so consistently. <laughs> Let me switch the camera real quick. I see the boy pumping Jim Red in the chat. Pumping Jim Red, thank you so much for the super, super generous 50 euro donation towards the prize pool. Fabs, it is unbelievable that I say it, but 86% crushed. And we're watching the second match of the night here. Thanks to this great community. We appreciate you guys. Heard just the goats. I, I, I can't believe it. You may be a champion. But you are still a common. But now it is time Commoner. for our glass okay. of rain. Sparks eliminated. <laughs> Gambler trigger. still full HP, so to say. Two lives. Round one. Fight. All right, next teammate shows up. And Mr. Our Glass of Rain. It's just like this, this Melina has been tearing up everybody, honestly. And yeah, he's, he's one of the few Melina players that's out there putting in the work on these tournaments consistently. Let's see what he can do against the boy, Joey. I do think this matchup doesn't really... I don't know like what this matchup does like uh, on paper, really. Man, right now, Joey tearing through the competition. That is so impressive. Non-stop pressure. Oh my God, he's still going. And CJ is saying, going. if we reach more than the goal, do more money goes to the players. No, Fabs and I go on a vacation then. No, of course yep. it goes to the players, everyone. <laughs> that turkey is going to hit. That turkey vacation is going to hit yes. like crazy. You're going to see Fabs and me on the beach streaming tomorrow. Oh, wait a second. Hourglass just needs one mix-up, really, into Fado to end the game. Oh, oh a little leg spike. Pumping Jim Rest, making it an even number there. 451, thank you so much. And once again, King Gambler in the driver's seat. Hourglass of Rain fighting for his life. Ooh. The mix. Who is going to believe it again? Stop. Oh my word. I mean, he would have gotten his breaker at least, but it would have been better than nothing because now Joey has three bars of a meter. <laughs> we'll stick of butter. And Sunshine is saying, you deserve it though. Thank you so much, guys. And yeah, I'm just proud that I'm allowed to do this here. Of course, if you want to support our, our stream or the arena in general, 
you can always feel free to subscribe to the channel or give the subscription. Thank you so much for considering everyone. But once again, Gambler recording that combo tutorial for YouTube. Gambler hasn't even gone into hype. This is, this is Johnny without going into hype and he's just chilling, mauling through these, these players right now. And there we go, the Marina one through. By the string that hits everybody in, in, in every lobby. Ooh, I'm gonna break it setup. I like that. Just like that, though. This might be what? Wow hat? What is or just death? Just death? What the hell what? is this combo? I thought Our I had one more mason in So, you know what? Hold my side. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Wait, so Melina's doing armor breaking, hard to blockables into 40% vortexes or whatever, and we're just not arresting these players? Oh, I like that. Lao Hat got hit, so he doesn't have one in him after this combo. He's, oh, he has a jump. What, what is that recovery? Fabs, this is oh, far I'm away so from over, my friend. Hourglass of rain all of a sudden going crazy. I don't even think he realized this how Lao Hat came back during the combo that got his Lao Hat hit as well. That is crazy. But Joey here, he's the walk, the walk now. Ooh, I get a bit inside here. Oh, overhead. He's one more mix. Oh, I like what I see. Go Roman. That's five. Good respect from Hourglass. Look at this defense. He's chilling right now. Only a grab oh, can hit a ball poke special. Okay, I would have gotten hit by that as well. No, and go that is there we go. Insane oh awareness. Good patience. Hourglass of rain on his way to bring this back, not only for himself, but of course for his teammate Sparks as well. Gambler losing the first like life like 15 seconds of anxiety is just holding block until Joey gets tired. Runner Adams in the chat, thank you so much for the 10 euro donation. Ferbs, honestly, this community, they are so insane. We might need another goal for the players. <laughs> you know, overlap it. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much. What would you say to a little slap and tickle? Uh, you're not my type, Cage. What the hell? Round one, fight. All right, game number two between these boys right here. Reminder that uh, Sparks already been eliminated of the upper bracket. The set currently, but hey, let's see what the boy Rain can do. Can he take out both Johnnies, dude? But do you think both. that Pulse is a little bit afraid right now? Do you think he's shaking a little bit seeing that Melina go? He better be. But Pulse plays differently. I think Pulse uses the other cameos and stuff like that. So he definitely has like the antidote against the Melina Lao combination. But you know what? Joey's like, bro, just chill, chill, chill. I got this. Oh, Sagers for days, and this time Hourglass try to press. Oh. Dude, it's so tough trying to press against Johnny because at any time you can just poke special or like cancel into Rising Elbow into Goro as well. So it's tough. I understand your pain. Oh, we even eat Yex's Shadow Kick to get the kill. King Gambler trying to do it all on his own, just like VGY did in match number one. Ooh. Gambler getting close to that hype meter. There we go, doing that. Yep. Hourglass, knowing that he had priority in that moment. Yeah, if you block the projectile standing still and try to approach and do a dash move, like uh, anything, it's not going to work like that. Oh, there's almost a flawless. I think if, as long as Joey gets his hype activated in this round, like just gets a full start, it, it would be a good way, you know, to lose. And first, this community, they just there crushed. We go. That freaking goal. You guys are amazing. Pumping Jim Red with another wait. 30. One confirm. And he goes into hype. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't don't tell me this is gonna happen. Wait, how much damage is this? Okay, if if it's off the parry, it's like 41%. I thought it was 29, but it's 41% off the parry, off the parry. Surely it's not death off of the parry, guys. It was the parry starter. Everybody calm down. One more hit. And it is so impressive that Sparks actually waited. He was patient Fight. enough. He didn't show the Goro after Shadow Cake, but he still has hype though. Now 
I think he wanted to get the hit before he get the loud hat off. It was a good read, honestly. Oh, Stegas for the AC. This is never your turn versus that character. Very solid pickup from Johnny as well. We are still going. Corner position secured. What's for breakfast? Gambler. Currently on his deathbed right now. Pulse. Might need to step in. And, and pulse, all pulse, of Mr. a pulse. sudden, this Mr. entire Mr. match is tied up. Hourglass of Rain eliminating King Gambler. And that means we get the final showdown between the two last remaining players. Oh, this is going to be sweaty. <laughs> This is gonna be sweaty. It is gonna be phenomenal. And you know what else is phenomenal, Fab, is that this community, they are sitting there and they're like, you know what, we crushed that goal for the players and now let's gift some subs to the arena. Remus and Mr. Black, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, everyone, it is an absolute blast to be here today, to be allowed to host these sets on a daily basis and, of course, to put a smile on your face. Chameleon. The flesh. What would you say to me? Both players, two lives, final showdown happening. Who is going to take it? That's the boy who's going to take it. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what happens when I go on AFK chat. Point. All right. Johnny Million. Considered uh, top one, top three by certain individuals here from NA. And Chameleon just gives Johnny like a more, like much more flexibility in the neutral. You know, you have the Jade, Glaive, you have the Fan Lift, you have the Pink. Follow, but hold on a second. Rain making it hard. Doing the Johnny Gauntlet right now. Pretty much the Johnny Gauntlet. <laughs> that makes us. We need to, like, gentlemen. This damage like, is, it is out of this world, and all of a sudden, Hourglass of Rain looks like a complete different beast. And that is exactly what I mean. And what's so fun about these 2v2? Your teammate gets eliminated, and all of a sudden, you decide, you know what? Let me carry this real quick. And the, chat is saying, the chat is saying, rip, increase the donation going. I always feel so bad when I do it, chat. Like, honestly. This might be the highest prize pool we get for 2v2 ever. I'm, I'm not going to lie. All in one day, confounded. This is so. Oh, trust the disrespect. The low hat. It's still tough, though. Still tough. Glaive, big confirm. This might be. Oh, he barely drops it. Still has it though. There we go. Doesn't end with any hype moves, but still uh, capable of building his hype meter. The thing about J the Jade Glaive gives you pretty much any confirm into hype as possible. So. Ooh, big whiff, whiff but Pulse not able to get the whiff punish. Wait, wait, what? This man is building hype full screen. He does not care, but hey, any confirm now. It's a glaive. It is over for him. Does he, does he even need the hype? He is the hype man. No way. Whoa, 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 what whoa, the whoa. hell was this? Yo, that's illegal. That was that was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. What 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 was that bait he, from? He threw the Puns? shade. Threw the shade. It's a fan lift. Rain tried to counter poke, the shades hit him, and he confirmed that the jump through from Fenlift. What? <laughs> Why is Gemini in the chat that? is saying no way he just did that? Everyone in the chat, drop a one if you think we should DQ Pulse for that. I'm gonna do it. No, no, the, the shades literally fall into him as the Fenlift goes. That was cinematic. That had to be like some that was disgusting. Like, MCU type cinematography. I, I love that. Hanging Jesus. <laughs> So the community has decided that we should DQ Pulse for that. Yeah, we don't have to DQ the raid and stuff. That has to be DQ. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. I can mention it before. Um, like, Camillion gives so much flexibility to every character. So like, you see way more ways to open people up and get stuff unblocked. Oh, that's going to be a big hitter. We got those Kitana fan left optimals as well. This is, this is tough, looking tough for our boy. Pink is available as well, so overhead anytime. But the problem is, you get the mental stack of the overhead onto you, and you don't set the throw. Ooh. 
post might be on the mission today. He's like, yo, that prize pool looking pretty, pretty good. <laughs> that prize pool is yes, looking good. I think that's exactly what he thinks about And Look at this pressure once again. Chameleon giving you wings. Literally, the fan lift. How many grabs is he going for? He has pink available still. Again? The claim is just, I don't care about neutral. Oh, the hype is almost loaded. Don't let him build anything from full speed. Oh, then we're punished. Who's just playing like MK12 right now? This man is, else. He is playing in the future. Who's gonna run the game right now? Did you just... Did you just he bag as well? I, for his sake, I hope not, because this thing about it holds a lot of mix right now. I think he's saving his breaker in case he gets hit by the mix. No, he's charmers out of it. That was smart. Block. Oh. Punish. Pulse on match point. Oh, this oh. man. He is feeling himself. Fabs, what? Fabs, he is. Oh. No, this match is over. I'm an old man. I'm confused. I did it again. The shame. Yo, Polish just did some like, generational performance right there. That was crazy. That was disgusting, especially that one scene. Yeah, Fabs, yeah that replay is, might have been... This is a wild ride tonight, and I hope all you people out there enjoy it. This is literally one of the best MK1 gameplay you will find super, super impressive from all players who are in this bracket tonight. Speaking of it, let's have a look at it. Pulse Gambler now in the next round, still in the winner's side. But of course, in our season finale, always double elimination. That means that lower safety net is available to these players. No one out of the tournament yet. If you guys are the losers now, start playing your games, man. Hurry up so that you can right. uh, yes. get closer to loser finals as well. That is a great reminder for all the players. I know our mods are on it as well. Entire winner bracket is on stream. So if you are matched in the lower bracket, please play the match immediately. Like literally immediately so... We can run this uh, as smooth as possible. Papa in the chat with another 30 oh. euro donation. Rotha tried oh. to use that special here on round start. Didn't work at all. Ain't no way we started this move with down three ball roll. We need to like, like, send these guys to Arkham Asylum or something. Oh wait, Ben lift. I knew it. That's so good. Pink is available now. I'm thinking like a folk special. Slave. That's we, the hater break? Rothor. Why would you do this? Are you a believer or not? This is the tough part now. Getting in. Oh, wait. We just put himself in the corner. That's death. And I think I have a great idea, Fabs. What's if the idea? we reach 750 euro, we're going to make it top two payout. 500 for the Ooh. winning team, 250 for second place. I think that's fair. That is. Both of them. Four players get the cut. This is huge. Ooh. And in the meantime, Creed going crazy. One of the best Johnnies oh, we have in Europe. Still cooking. Oh, wait a minute. I had a feeling he was going to go for it. But he, I think he's confirming, which is really, really cool. Single button returns are amazing. That trade is not beneficial to you, Mr. Rotor. Oop, that, there we go. He was looking for that the whole time. That's dead. He was looking for that move the whole time. And Brothor. So is he mashing? There we go. That was barely kill. What the hell? I thought it was gonna be like 450 or something. Oh, jump in. And one of the best jump ins in the entire game that is so hard to enter. Yeah? It is illegal jumpy, by the way. I hate it. Ooh, pink and neutral. So we'd love to see overheads from ev everybody gets an overhead in this game now. Launching overhead for the confirm. I think that move is punishable, by the way. 
So if Rotor just keeps it on block like that, it's like minus 13 or minus 12. Ooh, Once again, we are playing neutral in this, and there is the overhead. So, Rotor about to walk away with this. He keeps going. Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. A throw combo would kill right now. Oh, he tries to press. Game one goes to Creed. Rotor has one less life. Yep, Creed is here today. I mean, Creed MK Javier sounds dangerous on paper and looks dangerous in game as well. It is crazy. We saw how Pulse was rocking it earlier, and uh, Creed is no stranger to that team. That team is disgusting. It's a team that applies so many mental stacks onto you. And whenever you worry about an option, you forget about other options, and it's Johnny in your, in your face. So. I hear your skills are all smoke and mirrors. The beatdown that's coming sure as hell won't be fake. Rotha down to one. Of course, Makoran in the back, waiting for his moment. Oh, that could have been confirmed, but I don't think he was expecting it to hit. All these whips from Rotha trying to proximity us something. Covering all that range with rain, but Johnny moves like butter in the screen. He can't see the rain god. Wow, I rarely see people doing that. Oh, I like that. I like what I see from Rotha. No. Lucky for the opening. And uh, Creed might be in a good area right now because he has an overhead blocked by Rotor. Oh, that was perfect. I knew the overhead was coming. Like, it was it was obvious like butter. Smooth like butter. What am I saying? <laughs> it's the medicine. Got me tripping already. Man, the overall skill level today, Fab, straight through the roof. Pretty impressive what we see Ooh. and what we're going to see today. Yo, Rother is mixing up all of his defensive options so well right now. Uh, look at it. Creed is just chilling. Like, when do I get depressed? And there we go. Glaive saves the day. Plus frames. Oh. Wait. Striker, striker, striker. What are you doing to these people? Plus. Corner pressure. That's where Johnny shines. Oh, wow. Taking your turn is so tough, man. Oh, that was just... That was like, I, I believe in this move right now. And they hit the... the as a believer confirmed. Oof. Punch in the corner against Johnny is tough. Life is difficult. Hey, okay, that's Brother's last life, by the way. And Creed is currently on life point. To get Brother out for Macaron. Is he going to get it? That's the question. No way, the wake up. <laughs> the most disgusting wake up chameleon. And it launches as well, so you just lost all of your effort. Big overhead coming. Rother doing it for the arena team right now. There we go. Still needs one hit. Right it, but T Rex arms from rain. Yo, these boss blocks. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, this Wait. might go south now. This is 50. If I if my calculations prove me wrong, I I I will be pissed. Oh, is so close. Almost 49. Yep, the damage. And Creed Legit. actually got the match because of it. Rotha is out. Dude, and then having a glaive right after your, your, your fatal blow, which means Rotha literally cannot move. He has to literally wake up boss block the glaive. Oh, that was that was annoying. That was tough. Chat, it is time for Makuran, the last man standing.
And for everyone um, watching this right now, who potentially is seeing this for the first time, all these teams you see here today, they literally won an entire qualifier tournament. That's how these 2v2 league season works. Players can qualify by winning one qualifier tournament. We hosted eight in total, and here are the eight winners you see in this bracket today. Elstead fan, thank you so much for the resubscription. And now here comes Makuran, all eyes on him, trying to bring it back. Oh, Makuran has to run the gauntlet. He needs to take out this demon Johnny, and then Javier waiting for him. Get him in a trade combo as well. Ooh, there we go. You're not blocking the overheads, baby. Daggers. Nice blocks, and that's death. Ooh, keeping a meterless. I like that. Datusha calls for you. Round two. Fight. The thing is, Makron has so much matchup experience versus Johnny Cage playing that character on a daily basis. No, yeah, for sure. Yo, that was full screen phase. I mean full range phase into whiff punishing the poke. He knew that was going to happen as well. Dude. Dude, I feel like Mike Ryan's getting more powerful with time. Oh, that could have been death as well. He read that white. Well, these matches, they are intense. Hope you guys out there enjoy it so far. Of course, plenty more. After this, it's going to be a pretty long tournament today. 2v2. What is this high built in neutral ballsy stuff from Creed? Yeah, Creed knew that. He had, uh, Macron had no meter or Serena available, so he just went for it. Oh! Yeah, Macron is here. Another level of gaming this guy's bringing. And Harbex in the chat, first time message saying, can't wait to watch these on YouTube. Let's go. Probably going to be live there tomorrow pretty, pretty early. And just like that, Crete down to the last one. Johnny K. Ashura. Kung Lao. K. Match. I love redemption stories. Feb, do you want to see the final prediction? Oh, show me that percentage. Show me, show me those numbers. 83 on the Javier and Craig. Oh my, what? Interesting. Reminder, Javier, uh, Magran just won EU East Pro Comp yep. week one, by Good the way. Good point. And her hot top eight on the west. So. Oh wait, and Creed making the switch to Lau for his Johnny. Top tier heaven. Oh. That's a no jumping zone whenever La Hide is down, but hey, still. Oh, jumped over it. Oh, wait a second. He can survive one hit. Makuran. Is he going to get the magic touch? No, there is the Johnny Poke. Round two, fight. Ooh, that's a big confirm. Wait, Creed right now in very good position. Ooh, just backs away. I like this. Sometimes the best option is to not do anything. He has no breaker. He has no breaker available. Oh, Serena is still hit. Oh, and that is the one life of peace. The Creed. And Macaron. Reminder, Javier is still in the back waiting. It's too live. That probably is the eating problem. or showering recently. That is the big, big problem. Javier, one of the best scorpions in the entire world, lurking there in the back. 
Well, Makaron is down to his last life. That's gonna be a hard comeback. Johnny Cage, Ashur, Serena, Kum Lao, Cage Mansion. Your Hollywood is rife with evil. You don't need your Chris to know that. Round one, fight. All right, back in the scene now. Oh, that's even walking forward just like that. Magron already has a big lead towards this round. Oh, he got entire in the city as well. Dude, he's locked in. There we go. How does he approach the Lao Hat? Oh, he does the right thing by putting the Serena's a tank, the Lao Hat. But uh, Creed doesn't care. Oh, one hit. There we go. Michael is showing signs of life. Ooh, that's tough. Nice blocks here from Creed. And now Macaron. A pretty tough position right now. Tries to tank it again with the Serena. The second time it doesn't work. He's I'm not sure if it's worth putting your whole life into it, but you know what? I respect it. And Creed is just walking back now. Or, I mean, if, if he reads, or if he just plays, what, what, what was that? I don't know what that was, but... That is round for Creed. Insane on pressure. Like, honestly, life insane point. what we see from Creed. Just like in the qualifier, by the way, where he managed to qualify all on his own. Javier didn't even play in this. Wow. Ooh. Plus frames. Creed has three bars of meter right now. In a dream. Meter in a dream is what we have. Oh, Macron making right read again. Oh, wait. This could be the start of something. No, is Lao is going to recharge the max? I don't think Macron is going to go for like a wake up army immediately. Even though I feel like Creed will indeed try to put a Lao hat down as soon as he gets the time to go for it. No way, he anti Johnny. That is, that is ridiculous, Makron, and we cash out Fabs. This is a statement from our two time champion. And all of a sudden, this entire match became pretty close. MK Ravier, Makron, the final battle. Off of an anti air, doing 48% is just disgusting. <laughs> Even if he had 1500 health, he would still be dead. So, it's time for a little bit of Scorpion action. MK Javier ready to strike. And don't forget, 83% of the community think that they are going to win this set. Scorpion. Let's see if they're uh, Creed, they're leave believers. the lobby. So let's have a look. Oh, this is this is tough now. So two lives for Javier, one life for Macaron. I feel like every time these guys played each other, especially in the arena, I think Macaron likes this matchup. He likes to play against Scorpion players. And I know that Javier has lost to Macaron and Schoolman in the same top 16. Was it last season or something like that? But yeah, he definitely hates this. Let's see if his homework has been done. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they're both gaming from full screen. Oh, that teleport. It's... You're not reacting to that. There we go. Corner positioning now. Oh, he switched his size with Blazing Charge. I think he's going to teleport, isn't he? Yes. Oh, I feel like I know this man already. My brother. Oh, 
the trade very almost happening right there. Big punish now. Oh, he's in purple. It won't be as big. Oh, those cancels. Oh, no duck there. Macaron could have had the round. Looking for the opening now. Jumping on. Wait, wait. He's gonna have breaker before the kill. A lot of damage incoming. There is the break as expected. Oh, we try to move. Wait, Javier can have the kill as well. These guys are so close. Oh, the smart from Akuran. Armoring through this. Yeah, he either went for a grab or for a jab right there. It's tough. Macaron just went all for the armor, man. Even if he died, it would have been worth it. Doesn't care. Javier playing his patient game, you know? Forcing it to come to him, even though Macaron has more health. Punish. That was, it was dirty from Makaran. Phenomenal read. Oh wow, Makaran is outdoing really Javier so bad right now. Like, I mean, give me a character issue because I, I see Javier lose against Schoolman and Makaran quite often in these brackets. So, it seems like Scorpion doesn't have the answer in neutral to challenge these buttons that Asha provides. And no the way, the end meters rain. Hit her into drain? That is evil. Evil! I feel like Macron hasn't got hit a single time, like, on this on this round. <laughs> it's just like right, small situation. Ladies and gentlemen, Fabs and Maybe I didn't so think that this is gonna happen today. But we have a final oh, round on the menu. Oh, you know what to do, Fabs? Final HP, final life situation here. Guys, I need to see your <laughs> emotes being exploded right now. All the AOs, all the rip shakes need to come through. We oh, want to see the place. entire chat being flooded. Silverhawk, thank you so much for the Prime subscription. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the generosity. And now it's time to have a little party in here. Makoran versus MK Javier. Who is going to take it? Let me press that magic button real quick. Go crazy, chat. Thank you for being here. I do well to follow your example. Then start by studying my combat. <laughs> Fabs, who is gonna take this? I have, this could be like I mean either have your adapts or Macron just runs away with this because he's playing so consistent and uh not really falling for did he just micro duck spear and walk? He did. Yep, Macron on different beast right now. Damn. I, I guys, you, you like you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. Oh he could have comboed from that because the Serena tanked the hits. It feels like he got this matchup so well. Have your time now. Oh, tries to poke special, but he just literally just armors, even holds it for a little second. So have your things he can press. But no, you cannot. Going back to his roots. Now it's And that is the MK Ravia we know. Calculated, patient. And got the spear. That is exactly what we're talking about. Macaron had a life lead the whole time. He didn't need to approach him whatsoever. That's chip situation. Yep, that is death. And now Javier on a really good situation right now. Needs one more round to eliminate this demonic team to lose his bracket. No, wait. Wake up, Entire. He has it. He's that guy. No way he reacted to that and flash buried it. I love it. Canceling the armor. The fact that she's able to armor through that is crazy. Just cancel the armor. And people are saying that last breath does not work in the first round, guys. Last breath only works when you're about to die. Like when the game's about to end. So. Ooh. Well, this is so intense, Makura. Now finding the confirm and we know Ashra insane damage.
oh, he played so well. He didn't even mash on that situation. He just kept it simple. He knew that uh, Javier wouldn't be able to take his turn, like, to kill in that scenario, so. This is literally the full stretch. No flash block. <laughs> it really is. He jumps. Double teleport. No duck. Oh, but now Javier with a life lead plays the, the lamest game you can possibly find. Oh, Macron is reading these throws so well. Serena, drain available. Everything is available here. Oh, wait, that's going to... I thought he was going to do both bars. You can see the Duck OS being spammed by Macron there. No escape. No escape here still. Where's the grab? There we go. I was I was like, Javier's not grabbing for 20 seconds. It's not him. Somebody kidnapped him. But hey, just like that, life lead back to Javier. This is way too close in my opinion. This is a true nail biter. Once again, Marco Ran trying to armor. Good Ooh, grab. grab. Not even a tech attack. Marco wasn't ready. And the yeah, Fabs. That is so this is unbelievable. MK Javier clutching it out in the end. Makuran and Rotha down to the lows, loser bracket. Wins. These sets are literally unbelievable. It is so close and that's the perfect showcase of how stacked this thing actually is, Fabs. It is, it's, it's too good, man. And since Faisal and Moody are having some rough connection issues right now, we're gonna let let them play their match off stream. Just as a reminder, that means we are now watching the second round winner side. Ooh, Video games Yo and Kanimani are gonna face King Gambler and Pulse. Fabs, I'm not ready. Oh, I was never ready for this. I was never ready for this matchup, but I am hyped it's gonna happen. So yeah, the double Johnny team against the EU demon team right here this is, this is pretty good pretty good representation of eu versus na but yeah this set is, is just insane not sure what's gonna happen here all right this is gonna be a blockbuster right here let's go kanimani playing for the first time today because EGY is not having this boy play first confirm of the day goes to pulse anybody trying to press in between the glaives or something like that Oh, the off-screen knives comboing and sending through from Raiden. I'm loving this. These guys are going back and forth in the game. Been 20 seconds in. The Jailed. good old Raiden pressure. We haven't seen it for quite some time, but here it is. Our oh, oh. trying to get that whiff punish. Pairing against Raiden? When his main string is a 4 4 low. Ooh, this is gonna. Almost kill. Ooh! <gasps> Wait what? a minute! Um. Pulse could have maybe gone for the El Rising Elbow, or he had no bar, maybe. Or into Fatal, I don't know, something. But he had the Fatal there to kill. It happens, though. Goes right into it. Ooh, he interrupts the delays from coming forward. Oh. This is sweaty rip. This right here is. Oh, another! Okay, he's making him whip now. Down twos. Not letting Pulse even play the game right now. The dash up! It's a low! Dude, that's the kind of money special, man. He shimmies you with, uh... He, like, double dashes in your face, and you try to press something, and he just goes under whatever you do into a forward four. And Kanimani, one of the rising stars in Europe, winning that first round.
Do you expect any character change from one of them, Fabs? Uh, maybe cameo, cameo switch. And there it is. Oh, wow. Okay, sorry, I called it too early. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kano pick here. To get some more, it's like, just a, I think what what the Lao gives you as a Johnny player, besides the community, is that like instead of you dashing up and trying to press the button, just throw the Lao hat down. It's just less risk and neutral. Wow. Risk is something Kani Money does not care about, because this man just starts with jump forward into electric fly. You still getting the whip? He's different. More pressure. Sponsored by Kalimani once again secured the life lead. Oh. Is he gonna break? No break from Kalimani. Probably saving it in case he gets mixed here. Off three knives. Oh, they're so plus. He even got to confirm right after he got knocked down. Smart from Kami to use that Kano pressure. Wait, 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 wait. no wait way. Fatal? Excuse oh. me. This set is sweaty. <laughs> that, is, that is disgusting. I mean, I mean, he got mixed twice. Yeah, right? and he's like, you know, let me wake up and just fade off because if he tries to mix me again, he's dead. And why am I not Round two, fight. Phenomenal read from Pulse, I like it. And young man reaction time, don't forget about it. Kani Mani, this kid is quick. Oh, now I'm going to the corner now. Coast to coast. Don't Trying run back, Ash. Yeah, Kani Mani playing all these mind games around Kano, uh, around Kano, around Raiden. Oh my, dude, Kani Mani plays neutral in such a disgusting way. He's like covering all of your potential options just with a little poke or something. He's, he's, he's actually, he might be him on some situations, man. Asta in the chat is saying, this set is so fire. Let me drop another 10 euro donation. Asta, I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, this Raiden is too clean. Just needs to do something. There we go. Gets the hit. Wake up down one. We're stealing turns in this dojo. Oh my. Yeah, it's so tough to press against uh, Kani Mani. It is. Oh, in the chip. It's like, oh my god. I think what's happening here is that he knows. No, what... Wait a minute, Fabs. We are seeing T-Backs. This kid is toxic. No, Kani Money, what are you doing? Kani Money, it is not over yet. This kid is toxic. I think he knows Johnny so well that he, instead of mirroring, he just goes for Raiden and he just covers all of Johnny's options the way he knows how to do so. <laughs> so I, that was pretty crazy. And perhaps I'm not sure if it's smart teabagging that early because now it's time for King Gambler. Oof. Wait, I think this might be a rematch from UFA, Gambler Kani Money. Might be, it might be. I think they played there as well on their bracket. Not sure who. I think I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. But hey, it's it's Joey time. So it's time for the final boss, which is King Gabla in that case. Oh, see, uh, Gambler right now dabbling through all these cameos. Okay, he goes go. Oh, goes what he likes. Problem here is that like this is a 900 HP Johnny. Madam Bo would be a tough negotiator. Yeah, I wish she was my agent. Round one, fight! Oh, the reaction. Oh, the boss blocks, I like it. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter.
Tani has Oki now. Oh, the wake up jump, but he walks away. Tani Mani yeah, continuing his reign of terror. This kid is so strong. Dude, the way he moves. Oh, there we go. Finding the hit. Gambler. How does Tiny Money deal with this? Wake up! Boss block? Wait. Safe jump again. Duck OS there from Tiny Money as well, but does not cover. The third option he could go is just repeat the same thing. I like how he, um, Duck OS. The safe jump. Good flawless block, but I don't know how he does it. The reaction time, it is so insane. Money level and I, I, even I don't know. But the thing is about um Raiden, the more you flawless block against Raiden, the more mental stacks he puts onto you, and like his stagger game just becomes stronger, you know. So I, I don't know if it benefits you or if it benefits Raiden. It's, it's kind of crazy to say this. Oh, finds the poke special. Look at this. Is Johnny being pressured right now? You don't see that often, but of course, if we have Raiden often. and Johnny on screen, that's what's gonna happen. No ego break right there. He accepts the round goes to uh, Kanimani. And hey, Kanimani might be doing the, the Johnny Gauntlet right now, clearing the way for VGY. Oh. Pause. And now here comes Gamba, squeezing Balls. out all the damage in the world. 42. That would have been good. But the tech, though, insane. Plus five. Oh, okay, Kanimani respects us so patiently. There we go. Break coming through. Huge life lead for Gambler right now. Doesn't have to commit too much. Knives coming. I like that down, too. He, ca uh, he cancels the recovery down, too, by just ducking. So he's actually safe after that. <laughs> Ooh. We are playing neutral tonight. Jump in, good up block. Another oh. one. Not over yet. And we have to spend it. There it is, no breaker two. available to King Gambler. Tiny Money has three bars of meter, by the way. You know what that means, right? Extra damage on uh, Storm Cell and everything. How much health does Joey have left? A hundred. One poke special. Oh, the big challenge. And then no, it, wait, the that doesn't block. work! No. The flawless block! <laughs> Fabs, what are we watching? What is this match here? King Gambler going crazy and Kani losing that first life. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Floss blocking on the on that whole insanity of Storm Cell going on. That is one of the hardest things to floss block, by the way. And that is exactly the reason why we're just commentating and these guys are playing fast. Dude. He didn't even floss block the first hit, the last hit. It was like in the third or fourth hit of it. And he was ready for that. He was ready for that. Spent a whole month playing low in West Covina. Round one, fight. Mix after KO knives, that was so plus. Oh. Nice. Kari body here. Like, no way this guy just took a game off of me. I have to go harder now? No break from Gambler. Kari Mari. Kari Mari looking round. angry after this lost round. round two. At this point, even if he gets one life of a Gambler, it's good. Because VGY needs to just one. You know? No whiff punish. Oh! That's a punish. You can even do it into Goro if he wants like more damage in there as well. Tekken toes and this ping or whatever like this connection is is insane by the way. Nice boss blocks. Dude, Joey is so clean with him. 
He really Messi, is. Uh, I agree. Kanimani might stagger that forward four once or twice to see what Gambler is doing because if you're boss blocking consistently, it means you might be vulnerable to the to the stagger. There we go. Double O eight and again flawless blocks from Gambler. Matchup knowledge is on deck. That's what we expect from these pro players. Plus, plus, hit as well. There we go. He tried. He tried. But you can only be consistent for so long. And that is one life left for the boy gambler. And that is exactly what's so strong about Raiden. In this game, Kanimani didn't even need the hit confirm. We can just proximity OS because Kano is there making it safe. Something I oh, yeah, personally Kano. dislike about MK1. <laughs> Do something super unsafe. Hey, your cameo got you. <laughs> It's still your turn after, imagine. But hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, you give this these tools to a top player, and it's what happens. You know, you're blocking, you're dying. Gambler down to the last one, and we still have video games yo waiting with two lives. This is gonna be rough. The T House. Come on, I'll get you the time quake all access pass. I doubt Lord Liu Kang wants me at Cage Con. Round one, fight! Oh my... Connie's <laughs> on point. Even though off-screen coming out to whatever is happening here. Bro, Raiden, this Raiden team has so many things for you to worry about. You have off-screen knives, you have the Storm Cell, Floss Block, Presence always on to you. Oh wait, he goes Cyrax on the Johnny. I like this. It's just there's so many things you have to worry about with this Raiden team. Let's see. Gambler pretty sure he's he knows what he's doing. Going Cyrax. Oh, I dropped oh, it. Super been... unfortunate. I was off on a grab as well. Cyrax is a really cool cameo, but like some combos he has require some quite. Good execution. That was a good punish, but no follow-up attempt. There we go. He was so plus on that situation. He, I mean, Connie had to block for his life there. <laughs> With Punish City. That's a believer button right there. And look at these nice, swaggy man. combos with Cyrex. Oh, no way he did electric fly, Kano Ball, teleport, Kano Ball hits and he was still plus. Gambler locked in. Connie, only half left health for him. Ooh, with punish, with punish. good spacing. And look at the price Gambler has to pay for it. 34? Yeah. Tough. I mean, Raiden Render has good movement. Oh, no way. Oh, he, he believes it. He, that's why he breaks so early. Off screen knives dealt with perfectly. Wait. He did vertical Cyrax right there. I mean, no, Connie Money. That yeah. is not allowed. Oh. Now we got a game. Final everything here. Except money VGY is on is set point. <laughs> I was about to mention that. VGY is a threat lurking imagine in the shadows, so to say. Imagine you beat Tiny Money, last everything, everything, and VGY is still there, like, oh, it's my turn, guys. Don't do, sit down. Uh, oh, no, it's looking rough for Gambler. I'm losing so many resources. Cyrex got hit as well. Finds the hit. The trade. That's oh they whiffed on a hit. Wow, we don't talk about that. Oh. The block! And that is game. That is set over. Kani Mali and VGY taking the set. Sending King Gambler and Pulse to the lower bracket. GG's. The Kani Mani solo right there. Jesus, this man. Too good. Phenomenal talent.
GG's though, GG's, both of them. All three of them played amazing, and Jordan was just there eating his chips or like drinking his tea, something, something, something. And perhaps that means the next match is about to start. Which is going to be an absolute sweat fest. Promise here to everyone watching. Let's take a look at our bracket. Because if I read it correctly, Faisal and Moody defeated Takinada and Desarde 2-0. And that Ooh. means Faisal and Moody are going to meet Javier and Creed. That is going to be something... By the way, congratulations, VGY Kanimani, chilling in winner's finals today. Yeah, top two. Or top three, guarantee. You're not my type, Cage. Pay attention. All right, this is more winner's finals. So... Winner of this is going to meet Kanimani and VGY Ooh. after this. Punish. The booty. We saw Rain. Our guys of Rain earlier put the war kid. With that Melina, Lau, and Moody. It's just no strangers in this matchup as well. No strangers in his character. He knows how to approach this situation. What a jump in. It's going to come back. No, it does not. And Alexis Ooh. over there in the chat. Thank you so much for the resubscription. What a read. It's like, you, you can interrupt the glaive, but if you let Johnny do the glaive, you can literally jail him into more pressure. So, nice reaction there from the boy Moody. Oh, getting that crab as well. This is damage. Like, losing 30 damage just to like nothing in two sequences. And now I guess the mix. More mix now. Low hat. Moody still tries to make something happen. Look at Moody's life late. Oh, he's chilling. I've seen Creed now. Creed, you have to walk now. That's how people feel against you, you know? No way, he might reduce there. That was good, though, actually. Good, good, good. Because either die, like, it's like a live or die situation, you know? So, my reduction is always good when you're low health. Damn, imagine losing 50 for trying to throw. Just like that. He needs it. I still don't understand why that Johnny Fight Blow does so much damage. That Johnny Fight say he so needs much. it. Fabs, do you agree? Oh my. Yeah, he needs a lot of things. But but that jump three definitely doesn't need it. That was almost Moody's round. But. And Gambler saying, looking good, brother. Always a pleasure to be here. Joey, thank you so much for always competing in these events. Let's go, Joey. Shout out to him. Oh, the walking. Walk the oh, dog. Raw chameleon, sure. but solid blocks from Moody. That's Mix. Breaker coming soon. There we go. 230 else. Oh, once again, Moody, life lead secured, and Creed has to put in the work. Good jump, can't get the punish. It was so hard, the auto-correction almost ruins that round for Moody. But he picked it back up right after. That was good. 1-0. Moody takes the first HP. Honestly, I like what I'm seeing here. <laughs> I like it time, as well. How many Johnnies have we seen today? What's oh, going don't, on? don't remind me, Fabs. I mean, that it's is what unfortunately always expected. I can see the people on YouTube complain about it already, but that's just the nature of season finals, right? There's nothing we can do. Of course, true, during true, our true, qualifiers, true. Uh, we can kind of manage what we are showing on stream, off stream, diversity. But in the season finale, when there's money on the line, we're going to see top tier all day long. That's just the state of the game. Yeah, true. It's how it goes. So, uh, let me correct myself. We see top tier only and video games, y'all. <laughs> okay. Now I'm triggered. Let's go. 
I thought Moody first bloods. Creed, Creed was Creed had to fight for his life to get in here, man. That macro and Rotor team was not hard to beat, but hey, these boys are back again. Oh, the bottom one block. That was a good reaction there from Greed. Going for the Wait, wait. Kaizen is saying that VGY is by far the most entertaining player in this tourney. Wait until Fabs goes on AFK. Please, get me on there. <laughs> Yo, that punish from Moody, the way he punished the Lao Hat was disgusting. If you guys missed it, he literally instant jumps and ball rolls in the air into it. Beautiful stuff. What the people and the players, of course, don't know, this is not the full tournament. The winning team has to fight Fabs and me in a final bracket for the money. And when Fabs and I, we only need one round. That's the special rule. And then we win the entire, <laughs> entire cast price. We also have like pretty lives. So, <laughs> uh, also Shao also has his Pento onto him. <laughs> and all players facing us have to play with their steering wheel instead of controller. <laughs> yep, that's what happens if you don't read the rules in the arena. Yep. Oh wow, this is the only for Moody. He's literally playing in the range where the Melina side hit, you know? Moody's spacing is just a piece of art. I say it every single time. It is the most technical Melina I know. Hourglass of Rain, Moody. The two prime examples of top Melina players. And both of them have a different approach to the character. Hourglass of Rain, super rushdown heavy. And Moody is, how can I say it? Like, super, super technical in terms of neutral, in terms of spacing. Blast to watch. I like it. The way he plays against Lao Hat is so inspirational. Most people see Lao Hat like me, for example. I see Lao Hat, my brain just turns off. I hate it. But he plays that spacing so well. He reads the neutral so well. But Creed is no stranger to this, though. Creed knows how to open someone up when he has Lao Hat. He's not even going for Lao Hat off of many strengths as well. He's keeping it simple. Opening? Ooh. No hit confirmed. Tournament nerfs potentially. Jump in the. Oh, smart from Moody. That's. You can't even break that. Just like that, Javier, it is your time to face this <laughs> demon, bro. <laughs> oh, Moody is so scary in this game, man. And I like that Moody and Faisal, both of them, basically visit each other for this 2v2 finale. Faisal, right now, probably in the kitchen preparing sandwiches, you know? Mental support as well, and Moody is playing out of his mind. But can the Scorpion God himself bring it back? That is the question. Versus Moody, who looks so confident. Melina, Scorpion, Kung Lao, Striker, the Fire Temple. My brother won't trouble your family again. Make sure of it, Scorpion. Round one, fight. And by the way, Fabs, as a reminder, 85% crushed by this community. We are so close to a top two payout where we not only pay the first place, that's the original plan for this tournament, but where we're able to pay out the second place as well, which would put a smile on my face because all these people, they deserve it, honestly. I wish we could pay everyone. Oh, yeah. I mean, the good ending would be, you know, everyone gets paid, everyone participates, everyone has fun, but sadly, sadly, things don't go our way. But you know what? Moody! has heavier to fight now and uh things are not as easy Javier's a different beast right now a beast from spain full street spear connect and mk11 that would have been a kb i still miss them sometimes good old wake up down to uppercut kb best thing <laughs> <laughs> Round two. The good old reliable, you know, it works. Oh wait, that's so air to air. Javier has it in a really good position right now because Moody, no breaker coming in anytime soon. No armor to worry about as well. Get oh, that's, that's that might be that might be life. Oh no, we drop, we drop it! I guess I'm jinxing our players, man. 
strike available as well. Anything into chip? Smart. No, he jumps. No punish. Wait. Wait. We need striker. No, wait. Moody's doing everything to be annoying to not get hit. And might still have your into armor. No. What the hell is Moody, Moody doing? I'm getting a little bit nervous. Finally, teleport connects. And M. Carabeer potentially closing it out with style. There it is. Down to. Making himself so hard to hit. That would have been crazy. Oh well, oh well, oh well. That's one life off of Moody and two left for Javier. And Faisal is still in the back there cheering for the homie. Let's see what happens. Kanimani and VGY probably taking notes right now because they have to fight the winning team after this. Striker. The hourglass. I don't advise toying with Liu Kang. What will he do? Burn me with Starfire? Round one. All right, let's go. Ooh, Moody just knows that you cannot walk forward just like that after projectiles block, you know. Oh, that's a punish. There we go, Javier. Keeping it clean, knowing. I, I like how Javier is always aware of when your opponent is not an advantage in neutral. One more striker left. He tries to press again. Oh, but he gets shimmied. That was tough. That was tough. More pressure sponsored by Moody. Oh, that is death one block, baby. Moody right now needs one more round to get have your one less life. Honestly, anything Moody does right now is good for Faisal, really. So, might as well help your teammate before you leave the scene. Ooh, my duck. I like that. It's a high. I don't know why people are not ducking the high. Ooh. Wait, wait. One, two, three. <laughs> Blazing charge. You might see the, the good old Javier sequence right here. There we go. He fast blocked it though. Be careful. Sending two range on this button is ridiculous. Honestly, as a millionaire player, the, the best thing you can do is just one, two when nobody's waiting for it. Oh. Oh. Booty. Oh, that breaker. I'm not sure if I agree with that breaker, but you know what? Do your thing, buddy. Do your thing. No, oh, that is good. The awareness in neutral to up block there. Some people don't want blocking this game. Me, I'm people. <laughs> oh, yo, that walk back that he went in tire. And, and now we have Moody. one life piece. Now it's getting dangerous. Creed and Javier down to the last one. While Faisal is still there, full HP in the back. That one through the Lao hat are delicious. Delicious. That was a crazy conversion as well for the anti-air. Yeah, that, that confirm I agree with the chat. Piece of art. Put a frame on it. And final prediction, 75% on Faisal and Moody. Corrupted forest. I don't advise toying with Liu Kang. What will he do? Burn me with Starfire? Round one. All right. Moody, Javier. This, this is a crazy matchup. I think they also played in the finals as well. And they probably will face each other in the finals. The, the, every single player we've seen so far is probably qualified for top 32 finals. I'm pretty, sure. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's the case besides Pulse, because Pulse doesn't yeah, compete well. in our uh, regular league. But besides that, I'm pretty sure every player is going to be in our regular 1v1 finals as well. 
just a warm up for them, you know? It's just, just practicing. A warm up that has 750 euros involved. <laughs> yes, that is, that is a quite decent warm up. Thanks to this great community in the back. Once again, thank you for the generosity for the players. Oh, Moody trying to press on Wake Up. But Javier does not let it wait. He's going to eject everything. Yes. He's going to put Moody in like a life death situation here with the chip. Now Striker comes in. Yes. He didn't even want to risk letting Moody on half like low HP. He just spent all the resources. That's how you should approach a character like Moody. Oh, hitting the Striker as well. He is a character. Moody is a character. Melina is the one playing him. <laughs> joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Jumped right into the bus on more pressure. Oh wait, boss boss. Wait, that's a punish! Ooh, almost! It's kinda hard to know when to punish that uh the push block from that. Oh, and Ooh. that is a punish, to be exact. Yes. He, he gets so right on that low mix. The whiff! Wait, wait, Striker's off as well. This is beautiful for Moody on set point. And Javier just needs one round to bring Faisal onto the board. But the way Moody's playing right now, I don't know how this is going to work, man. This is tough. And Javier is scared to anti as well because of the air. He anti the Rip. Oh, Fabs, I'm, I'm losing it. This is, <laughs> this is so close. He saw Javier jump and he neutral ducked. Not because he wants to anti, but because he wants to duck to teleport. This is some tech I'm about to steal. Ooh, that interaction is illegal to come with it. Wait, wait. Low hat. She goes under the striker. And the thing. And this is it. Fabs. Moody did it all on his own. Faisal he's not so even low. needed. Yo, the Moody solo is crazy. Ow. It's not the chiropractor I signed up for, but some cracks in there. Damn it. Fatality. Moody's just Melina on his own. On his own realm. And we got feedback from Tigris in the chat. Team Arena, aka Makoran and Rotha, unfortunately out of the tournament. Takinada and Disordered moving on. Well, 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 well. And perhaps just like that, we already reached the winner finals of today. VGY and Kanimani gonna meet Faisal and Moody in the next set. Good luck. The Fire Temple. Yo, Moody's on fire, by the way. This guy's in the momentum. He just sold the team earlier on. And VGY is like, you know what? VGY says, I can stop your trade. I Let's see. Chat prediction? Trade. What it's. Oh, wait. We don't see a chat prediction at all. My bad. There it is. 59%. VGY, Kanimani. Ooh. Oh, I like how Kano literally tanks the first hit. And VGY was so confident because he knew the Kano would tank the projectile. Oh, wow. The move. You see the movement from VGY, how I scary this man is when he dies. Hi, right, Moody. What you got for me? I haven't seen a single person floss block Melina's 1 2 string against Lee today. VGY might be the first one. Oh, armored grab. Why not? 17%. Oh, the mix is real. That is so clean. Kano gives Shao pretty much access to his mix up close from that is on, on block, really. No, oh, that sweep. I think VGY recognized that after the sweep, Melina cannot poke. So expect something crazy after that. Ooh, the empty jump. So, dude, that was so filthy, man. D 
Dude, I'm just seeing mix and mix and mix Moody on a different level right now. Goes for the low, though. but this time Moody guessed right. VGY decides to spend the bar. Ooh, takes his turn so well. Wait, wait. Mix it again. Ooh. Like what I'm seeing so far. The shove. Oh, Moody just goes back. Moody has a whole corner with him. And he's like, you know what? I'm out. And again, low. Yo. We ducking? We are ducking. We are ducking. And we're also low hatting. And we are mixing. Oh, and so close. Moody tried to convert this. Yeah, because Shao is considered to be airborne during his animation. So if he gets hit to the Lao hat, he will still be airborne. So you gotta juggle that really well, really well. Yo, Moody might take this. Uh, but we don't have VGY's clutch in these situations, right? Ooh, what hit! Ooh. And Moody takes it. Super close match. What we expect from a winner's finals in this tournament. Moody hasn't lost this whole tournament. <laughs> What the hell is going on? What is this? <laughs> what is VGY going to do? Melina, Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung? Wait a minute, Fabs. Am I seeing this Ooh. right? VGY bringing Shang a Lang a Ding Dong all of a sudden. And double knives. The absolute With mad lad in the chat done. for the second time. Dropping another 59 euro into the prize pool today. That means we are literally only 50 euro away, Fraps, from this top two payout. Double Knives, thank you so much. As always, we speak for the players because they are sweating right now. We appreciate you guys. 50 away from the big, big payout here for the homies. And all the boys competing. So shout out to that's the whole, like, the consistency these guys have to put up here just to be on this front of it, you know? Coming up in the weekends for the 2v2s. It's a beautiful thing I like to see. But yo, 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 BGY making the, the Shang Tsung swap here. What do you think about this like matchup, Fabs? Like Shang I've, Melina, something we don't see often? I've never seen it before. Oh, but Shang can't punish that move we just saw earlier, by the way. But it's going to have to get, he's going to get zoned so bad. The whip. Moody's making everybody whip right now. Yeah, I like how VGY used that move to go over the low hat to not deal with it. Maybe that's why he picked it. Yo, this chip. Even though all this damage has been done to Moody, he's one hit, by the way. No way. Rip. What the? Fabs, like, how? I'm telling you. That up Melina ball roll, the air whatever ball roll it is called, that move is interesting. I don't know how the scaling is on that. Is he dead? Not yet. He's not. There we go. Battle Ooh. of Bustles and VGY knowing that he can definitely take this trade. Wins it in the end. Moody spending the fatal. Yo, did he just up block the overhead from Shang I don't Tsung? understand it anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chat, keep your eyes open. Moody is a beast. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is that? I've never seen that before. Up block that overhead. I remember uh, back in MK11, you could floss block Scorpion's overhead. This is the new level of that. He got so mad that he lost last round. He's like, you know what? Up block that. That move is considered like a free hit with Shang Tsung, by the way. He just got him punished for <laughs> because he went for hit. That was disgusting. This is so impressive. 
booty here. Still going strong. But VGY, we're not giving up yet. Oh wow. This, I think VGY picked this variation just for the zoning specifically. But like, it's Moody and Miss Melina. They both have ways to like counter the zoning, no? I need to TP out of it on a, on a good read. The problem is Moody once again secured the life lead over VGY who now has to approach. Oh, that overhead is so clean. Wait, wait, that was buttons. good. Needs to do like around 410 damage, I think, to kill. No, no, That's just kid. no. I'm not even going to say anything about this. The way it was funny because last round after Moody hit a fatal blow. VGY woke up. <laughs> VGY woke up with buttons earlier. So Moody yeah, said, you know what? Let me wake up teleport. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Well, it is uh, Kani Money time. Yes, VGY eliminated Moody, two lives, Faisal, two lives. But Kani Mani, one of the best players in the entire world right now, definitely can bring this back. This is... Uh, I want to see how Kani Mani approaches this. This is one man with a dream. One Raiden with a dream <laughs> right now. 60% of the community believe in Kani Mani and VGY. It's time to sweat. What is it going to be? Muri? Maybe some coaching with Faisal? Who knows? Faisal is like, okay, so this guy is going Johnny. Oh, wow. Okay. I hear you're not a very good actor. When did you start reading traits? Round one. Fight. I right, see. Entire oh. immediately. Connie sending a statement. We wake up anti-air in this house, by the way. House owner is Connie Money at this point. Go nice tech. Stuff. Great awareness from Moody. Battle of Bass Sauce as always. I love when somebody like gets hit by a fatal blow or like text a throw. The first thing they want to do is throw out the loud hat. It's like the first thing they do. Oh, That overhead is killing. Dude, the whip punish! I'm saying that air ball roll is disgusting. Yo, the pickup? Almost though. No. I changed him, sorry. <laughs> Down to entire. Moody is ready. Yo, what is this mid doing? Ooh, there we go. Johnny Perry, now nerfed. Not as much damage, but still gets what needs to be done. Ooh. Not sure why I didn't block that. Oh my god. The pressure. Knocked down. What's for breakfast? More bus sauce. Bus sauce, six frame down ones, nine frame mids. This is what Johnny is about. <laughs> pressure. Ooh, confirm. Wait. This be it. It is, and then hype gets loaded. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. XCD in the chat is saying, I'm so impressed by Moody's gameplay today. Yes, literally one of the best. 
Oh my god, the armor on the kidnap. Post whiff. Giving Tani still the advantage. That was, that was, never seen that in my life. No up lock there? Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> yes, I can hear the crowd in the back. When Moody tries to bring it back, Kanimani has the life lead. Reminder, uh, Honey has hype. So anything under 50% health is, is bad. Oh my and god, but the last you still got the opening. That was levels of I've never seen in my life. Moody, no! That is exactly what I'm talking home. about. I've I've never seen reads like this. Like Moody literally is the only player who does the fancy shit like that. No, he tried. He's still alive. Oh, that would have been death. Dude, dude. I need a replay of this. Like, even though Kani took the round, the way Moody is making those reads, even the uplock we saw earlier, that is something we, you, are, right? you never see that. Wow. I swear to God, Fab, the, these Middle East players, they, they are built different. I'm telling you, man, they're not something to be toyed with. Insane. Absolute madness. He had to make Kani Mani commit to a shadow kick, by the way, in order for him to get the kill. Like, something risky on neutral, you know? Perhaps you remember the read Moody did versus B in uh, Season 2 Grand Finals? The up lock? Uh, the up lock on Raiden's overhead? After getting hit by a fatal blow, first thing he does is up block the, 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 the overhead and then kills him. Uh, that is really is something we only see from Moody. And funny enough, now that uh, pro competition allowed Lebanon to compete, I'm pretty sure Moody and Faisal will be in the pro comp uh, Middle East qualifier week number two. So nice to see the boys. All the arena boys are going to be competing. <laughs> yes. It's always so great to, to watch them. And I'm so proud, Fabs, when I see our players competing on the, on the biggest possible stage, these pro comp events. Would have never thought that one day we sit here on a daily basis hosting like the biggest community tournament for Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, we're up there. We're up there for sure. And I like what I'm seeing now. Kanimani does not want to give Moody the second round otherwise because it would be, be way too, too, too crazy. Oh, the up -lock. He better not break. I don't think he's going to break. Unless Moody gets like a hit or something. He should not be breaking this. There we go. Spends the bar to get out of the corner at least. That's worth it. Shadow kick on a wake up? No, he's clean with it. Yo, that movement! <laughs> Karimani's moving around the stage. Oh wait, he mistimes it. Gets Karimani's breaker, which is huge for round two, by the way. That's fine. I think he's so cool with that because he has a meter lead on Karimani. Fabs, Fabs sneaky beaver in the chat is crushing the goal all on his own here, guaranteeing that top two payout. Sneaky beaver, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you. I mean, it's what these players are playing for. The winner of this set. Guaranteed yep. top two. And guaranteed now you're payout. right, Fabs, with what you mentioned earlier. This is turning into a money match now. Moody heard that was like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> Time to make a godly read right now or something like that. No, wait, yeah, Another up lock. Yeah, but that is Moody in a nutshell. You don't see people up. And the funny part is, Melina has a string, right? One, two, one, two. That if you floss block it, you kill them, right? This is death. This is death. This is death. This is death. But I haven't seen anybody floss block Melina's really string. Wait, is it death, really? Because he did start with the parry. Oh, it is. It is. Unless he drops on you. Wait, wait. There we go. 320, though. Connie. Oh, Connie, he is out for revenge chat. He is saying, this is for my teammates. Oh, but now we get a first to two. Five out. Everything Connie is money. tied up again. Even though he started so strong, 
Kani Mani now brought it back. This is turning into a final match between Faisal and Kani. And once again, everyone out there in the crowd, it is so amazing what you guys do for the competitive MK1 scene here in the arena on a daily basis. Fabs, this is, so to say, a side tournament of our main league event. And this community basically brought it through to an $800 prize pool in one day. Like, these are mini-majors happening so many times in the arena. This community is literally out of this world. And whenever people say, you know what, MK1 is dead, the arena fam is here proving them wrong. Oh, yeah. And that is, that is just amazing to see. Thank you so much, everyone. No dead game has a 800 USD prize pool here for top two. <laughs> and 660 like, no people this. in the crowd watching this right now. Yes, sir. Four players get paid today. Thanks to the community and thanks to the dedication of all, everybody. You know, <laughs> let's go. XTD, thank you so much. And Westminator in the chat saying the number one Rips Arena fan is here. <laughs> Shout out to you, brother. My goat. Wow, this is sweaty. This is sweaty. This is so. Can't even commentate this. Guys, he's fighting Faisal because Faisal and Moody are in the same house. So. Can we get this show on the road? Round two. Fight. Oh. Oh, before I forget it, I have to point this out. Uh, people saying, why is Moody still in? Faisal and Moody, they're chilling in the same house right now. They're playing on yeah. one account. You can see it in the character. Moody doesn't even know how to play Baraka. That is yeah. Faisal's main now. Both of them using striker. Oh, I think he got the auto correction issue. I think he meant to do close striker to keep himself safe. But the side switch got to him. And Kanimani here looks like he might take this away. No, he will not. Wait, 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 wait. The micro. No way. The jump back. This is tough. This is tough. Can he kill? Can he optimize? Oh. No. Wait. Is he anti air with the. Uh, this is this is too much for me. I'm I'm getting too old for this. Wait! What? How did the whiff? How did the Baraka copter completely whiff in that moment? Oh. Fabs, I'm done. I know that Faisal is mad. It just completely whiffed. We need a replay. Oh, Faisal is pissed, chat. I know it. Fatal hit. <laughs> And then, oh my... It was so close. It literally was so close. Johnny. Even his striker as well said, Striker, go back home, you, you washed up cop. Get the hell out of here. So far, I've got no signs of Tarkov. And Kani Mani, uh, he is bringing it back, Fabs. Actually, right now, VGY and Kani are in the lead all of a sudden. They are on match point, on grand final point. They are cooking, they are cooking, they are cooking. All of a sudden, Honey Money's team is ahead now. Like, after seeing Moody's performance in the past two games. Oh. There we go. I mean, Baraka's playstyle in this game is not that like complex, you know. Just dash up, back throw, safe jump, or loop the safe jump into the back three and just keep it going. Oh, wait, he dropped. There we go. Round two, fight. Ooh, it's tough. Tries to approach. Standing two from Baraka. Clips him again. Wait. It's a safe jump into Striker again. So he goes for Chip. This Baraka standing two blades are insane. Don't get me started on this one. Faisal fighting for his life. Hooked back 
choke. Faisal? I see a parry from Tiny Money here. Once the copter? Again, Baraka copter? That copter was so good because he literally jailed him with Striker behind him and he still had his turn after. <sighs> copter into Copter. Tell them what's gonna happen. Oh boy, this is <laughs> final literally everything. Spam your emotes. Spam the Fabs Rips Arena emote. Spam Everyone the, in the, chat. the Rip Shake. You know what to do. If you're here with us for the first time and you usually watch on YouTube, please lower your volume a little bit because whenever there's a game five in the live arena, it's gonna get hot and a little bit loud as well. So thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Faisal versus Kanimani, the match for grand finals is going the full distance and there can only be one tonight. Who is it gonna be? We're gonna find out right now. I'm pressing that button right now. Let's go, baby. Oh, wait, he went to the Raiden Kato. Loop it again. Another one. Throws again. It's so tough to deal with this situation. Oh, oh all these throws from Pfizer. This man is a Baraka. little bit too confident. In the back three? Okay, no back three. I thought I was going to go for it. Wait, where's the striker? He just goes with... Okay, okay, okay. That was so risky from uh, Faisal to do. Yo, he just armored through the storm cell and also hit his uh, Kano. And now here comes Kalimani. Faisal, no access to break up for now. And it's perfectly calculated from Kani too. Time, try that, that, was, that, was, that was crazy. The wake up buttons here to take it out. Armor here from Faisal is so impressive. Trying to get the shimmy. Book special. Man, I'm on the edge of my seat chat. This is a little bit too much for me. So much hype going on. So much money on the line. Wait, three bars for Faisal. Will there be enough? There we go. This is all he needs to do. Nice blocks. Gets the shimmy. Wait. He's gonna have a breaker soon. There we go. Big whip! Nice plot. That was so clutch. But, but the no, overhead no, city overhead. and Connie Money. He literally is the prodigy. Brought it back all the way. And that means we have a secured first grand finalist. VGY and Connie Money, congratulations and guaranteed money as well. GG's. EGY and Connie are in the top two, guaranteed. Very Beautiful. impressive run from both of them. But we have a slight schedule change. We said, Fabs, we are only going to run the winner, uh, winner bracket, but mm -hmm. of course, there's a limit to it. Since we now have to wait anyway, we just made the decision on the fly that we are going to run the last two lower bracket sets on stream as well and that means coming up next mk javier and creed versus takinada and disordered the back oh it was funny because i texted you I'll, I'll be home in 50 minutes in the hospital i was like wait we have two guys you have to imagine fabs even was in the freaking hospital today and i was like fabs do you want to should we delay it and he was like no rip run this shit i'm gonna be there i don't give a shit about it Oh, the yacht block already start the game, but this is insane. Oh, we get the double glaive. Yo, he's doing some DLC combos. Ooh. Amazing. I love the poke special as well. They're always present. That pink chameleon. Just take us out. To approach him, we have to approach Creed, which is a demon to approach. Pink available as well. Oh, I know, I love how he expected the off screen Kato to come through. Now she's striker, yeah. 
Wait a second. It is close. Wait a, wait a second. Good poke from Creed. Great awareness. Oh, wait. That's going to clip him. Doesn't nice. end with the, with the optimal uh, the shadow Fight. kick into hype build, build, but you know what? It's okay. Oh, no, wake up, Melian. Wake up, Melian. Nice stuff there from uh, Zardin, knowing when to press, when to armor. I love the awareness. I love that hype about this set. I love it too, man. That is some high-level MK we are seeing today. This is basically the mini major before pro competition starts, and we love to see it. Oh yeah, this is the, the high. This is the, the good old sit here. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be pretty late for EU anyways when the pro comp starts. So. For everyone watching right now on Twitch, pro competition is gonna start in two hours and uh, ten minutes. Try and kill me. Final round. And we are hosting a tournament that they have the pro comp. MK is not dead. There's two tournaments today. Three tournaments today, actually. Three different brackets going on today. And Creed cooking something devious over there in the corner. Another reset, but this time we break. Ooh. Creed hasn't blocked a single overhead, by the way, from this Arden. Wait. Wait, who's playing? Is it the Zard or Takinata playing? It is Takinata playing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Same house, same PlayStation. And Bruto for Creed. <laughs> this Bruto on. is so stupid. There's no crying in combat. Brutality. Johnny Cage wins. Blazing Fire saying, is NA West top 8 today too? Yes, both of them running back to back. I'm pretty sure East is going to be commentated by Aquaman and Tento. Goated commentary too, by the way. Oh yeah, that is, that is. I was so happy when I saw that lineup. When I saw the commentary and Super I was like, no way. Uh, yeah, that's going to be phenomenal. I'm going to stay up extra late just to listen to their voices. Oh, yeah. I mean, Tento and Aqua on the mic are going to be phenomenal. Oh, you should see the Tarkatan cosplay at CageCon. Mm, chef's kisses. Your followers mock my affliction. We have to be more professional, Fabs. One day we're gonna be on the mic there too. For EU, EU. We have like to stop the these nuts joke. I think that is gonna be the first step towards our professional <laughs> career. Oh my god. <laughs> they do not want to rock with the jokes on the top page. <laughs> I was about to say. They don't want it. There you go, Takinata with the first confirm of the day. And a set. Or game, whatever you want to call it. Oh, the pick from full screen, bro. You know how Creed is fearless, by the way. No way. Oh, good pickup. Unfortunately, didn't work at all in the end. But I like the attack. that. Getting the pickup is not hard, but following the pickup is so tough. Round two. Oh, wait. The glass skin. That does 50% less damage for anybody who never saw that before. The next hit during glass skin does 50% less. Really useful. Ooh. Little boy Havoc there in the background saying, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Doesn't understand what's going on. That's Havoc on a tier list. He's, he's dead on a tier list. It's over for him. <laughs> Okay, Taki found the moment to stuff. strike. Striker available. No, he beats the pink. Wake up. But doesn't believe in it, though. That could have been huge second Ana because beating a wake up and then getting a fatal blow, all unbreakable. By the way, Fabs, uh, fun fact, Faisal and Moody, who are in losers finals guaranteed, they kick both of these teams into the lower bracket. So we're going to see a rematch. Wow. Yeah, they both want to run back. These two teams want to run back for sure. Oh my god, this is... Greed will make you walk forward 
forever. Final round fight. Yeah, good awareness. Second hit is a high. Oh, that, that was the pickup he was looking for that we hyped about. All you hear is just the sound of the footsteps when they dash and back dash into block. Oh, that jump through the illegal button, by the way. <laughs> illegal is the right word for that. Interesting, down two attempt from Creed. Is the There's stand down? The, the mutual respect? Ooh! That's that one teammate down, one brother down. He is like, give me the other one. Bring me. <laughs> He's the like, other one. Bring the next one. Disordered has to step up. That means we're going to see the big brother in action now. Calling this big and bro. Already playing on the same character, so I can just hit rematch immediately. Right now, Takinata eliminated from this set in this deserted time. Big Brother steps in now. Up block again. I think last set started with the up block as well. But it was Kido Takinata. Not a believer. We started playing a different. <laughs> Zardit is on a mission, trying to bring it back. Ooh, you're not blocking that. I didn't see uh, Creed blocking overheads. Oh, that's nice. Well, why did you go for the one punish? It was for down two there, but out of range. There we go. That overhead from Baraka, Creed is not blocking those today. It's not his day to react. Oh, another one. No, oh, no strike available. You're going to pay with your life. But Creed, this man is on a mission. I'm pretty sure he wants the run back versus Moody and Visa. Oh, yeah, he's mad. Staggers. That was this triple is, spinning. Through. This is disgusting, perhaps. <laughs> Respect that uh, this artist is putting on uh, Creed right now. Wait, 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 wait. He needs, he needs like a throw. Safe jump. Oh, he, he goes for the throw. Through it. <laughs> that is 41 damage. Is it 40 or 30 something? I, I never know how much damage is from the parry, really. Sometimes it's 40. Oh, it's be a... There it 31. is, 32, and it is still enough. Wow. And I see the chat. I see our chat apologizing for making jokes about my name, guys. If you make a joke about me, you never have to worry. I can take those. Literally, I am here to make you guys laugh. And you never have to hold back. Give me all the ball jokes. Give me all the name jokes you can find. That's the reason why I'm here. Yeah, chat, chat, it's okay. He's not going to ban you from joking. Right? You guys are offici might... officially allowed to roast Fabs and me on a daily basis. It is not a problem. Well, that's no creed. I'm about to take this first health bar. Oh, wait a second. Let's go. Wait, 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 where's the breaker from Creed? He's saving the breaker for another situation. There we go, right there. Wait, wait, wait. That's game. And here comes this out, the big brother in action. Wins. Huey is saying the big brother is mad. Let's see if this artist can bring it back. For sure. 
Uh, for everyone asking in the chat, yes, my, my real name is Dennis. Johnny Cage, Barack Phelps, can this only bring it back? What do you think? I mean, he plays very differently from oh, Takina I already saw. Like, more aggressive with his grabs, uh, more aggressive with his staggers as well. Uh, let's see, let's see, because he not only has to take out Reed, he has to take out Javier as well. One life down. Reed, let's see. The double glaive. Oh wait, I think I mixed the score up. They started on two lives, right? Yeah, they started two and uh, yep. on one. I got it. Chai, Chai, he was making sure you guys were paying attention, okay? That's how it is. Oh, no. oh, and once time again, you... the best parry in the game, perhaps. Oh, that, 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 that parry is just insane, honestly. Two frames. Why the press? This it. Wait, he what? has Fatal? One convert away. But he just that doesn't Ooh. get it, Fabs. I'm crying. The fact that Green didn't have Breaker as well. Yeah, that's like Wait, 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 wait. He needs Chip and a Striker. Oh no, it's that. Wait a minute. Talking out about to do the sweep on this man. Oh wow, he might he might actually do it. Oh, another overhead connect. Low crush. Yes, it started. Another overhead not blocked. Good call out on the Sega from Creed. The side switch of Rooney. Fatal Blue available as well. He's buying as much time as he can. What, what, just reversal grab? I like how he literally has no, no fear. Cameo got hit. Jump Ooh. in. Cash out. That's a brick. Oh, wait. His striker got hit. Yep. His striker got hit. That was From a raw jump in. This is a lot, Fabs. Is it even going to be enough? Oh, I mean, I mean, what do you say? It's, it's Johnny. This is, it's this Johnny. is unfair. <laughs> <laughs> got hit by the most broken jump in the game. Hey, lose 24% of health is on the prize. This is so much damage. Oh wow, this art is still kicking it though. Scaling everything. Keeping his turn going on forever. They didn't come back. I think they were both expecting the glyphs to come back. Salco S. Oh, Chameleon Pink is available. Does he need to let him breathe? Ooh, Creed has three bars. This, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is not a hidden cameo. He can kill to confirm. This is so close. We go for trades all day long. And again, they started poking out of the pressure. The parry comes in clutch. God, Fab, stop it. Uh, striker kept him. I'm pretty sure when he hit the striker, uh, it made it so this started wouldn't get punished by the parry. That was good. That was good. But now, Javier, it is your turn. Can Big Brother bring it back <laughs> and win a solo? Right now, Big Brother is looking more than solid. You know what, chat? It is not a game five, but can we get some EOS in the chat regardless? Thank you so much for everything you guys do for us and the community on a daily basis. We love you. Scorpion. Man, this it is, is turning into a time. nail biter. I see Eos flying in and MK Javier is entering the stage, everyone. It's time to see some Scorpion gameplay. Scorpion, Barack Striker, Chameleon, 
Wuxi Academy. You're one of Earthrealm's defenders. As were my ancestors before me. Round one. Fight! Alright, let's go. Two lives apiece. First to two. Let's see if the boys... I think they play each other a lot as well, so... Uh, they definitely know what they're facing up against. 100%. And have your ghost chameleon on the scorpion. I want to see this tech. Ooh, the tip of the... Wow, that that blade is just insane. Oh, nobody's blocking his overheads, by the way. Creed is in Javier. So he's unleashing unleashing his final form right now. Oh, that is that is that good. Full screen from Hellfire. It's a fatal. Wait, the swag points here might be off the chart right now. If this is over forty five percent, that was so worth it. Oh yeah, this is. Full what a combo. Off of the Elfire. Double Chameleon, but it's started with all the patience in the world. Oh, that was so unsafe. Life's about risks, boys. Overheads. Another overhead. Dude. Here comes Disarded. Disarded is stealing money from these guys with that overhead. <laughs> uh, Disarded everyone is so is hitting. confident. He already ordered something on Amazon Prime Fabs, and he shows the pay later option. <laughs> He's like, this overhead is taking me to top two. I don't care. Round two, fight. This is way too close, in my opinion. Two, two, three. Oh, we confirmed the spear this time. I like what I'm seeing, Javier. Well, he wants to stay alive, but right now, this, 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 this darted train right now. The, the, I think the script writers literally said this darted might take everything. The script writers. Back-to-back spears! What, 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 what? <laughs> this is, what am I this is the MK Javier all over the place in this round. Brood as well. Taki and Disordered on life support. Javier up. You won. In lives. Needs one more life. To remove this man and his brother from the competition. And Faisal and Moody are probably waiting like, okay, who do we have to kill again? Who do we have to kill again? Reminder for everyone who potentially just tuned in since we're live for more than three hours already. After this, losers finals, Faisal and Moody are waiting there. And in the grand final, we have VGY and Kanimani. Because you have nothing left to lose. Round one, fight. Started All right, can't find the hit confirm. He's trying, he's trying, he's trying. Oh, it's so tough going for anything right now in neutral because it, one spear clocks you and it's it's over. Seeing some neutral. Oh, 
Oh wow. He's trying. Oh, that tech. Literally tagging with Striker. <laughs> Who would have thought? There we go. Block the overhead this time. No way tech. Tech Get yet. off me. This is it. So close. This might be another final match situation. You do not want to get hit by anything right now. Oh, he, that was going to be a full combo, by the way. But he got the Melina size instead of the... Great pickup. What an insane reaction to the teleport. Just poking through it is the best, your best option, really. It's not gonna back, it's not gonna back. We didn't know. Oh, but this is an insane whiff punish from Javier. He didn't pick it up, though. Ooh, he read the stagger, he read the walk up. The Zarda is in a really good position right now. Corner, striker available. Jimmy. Maybe he was pressing on wake up. Who knows? Don't drop those baby. Oh, disordered. Down two. Down two. Needs and there it is. Shut. It is unbelievable that I'm saying this again. But you guys know what to do. We get another final match. Disordered. Really playing out of his mind. Trying to carry his brother, Takinara, to the losers' finals. We don't even have to say anything at this point, Fabs. The chat, they already know. Scorpio. Barack so another Kamele. final round is about to happen. Disarded versus Taki. No. <laughs> See, after three hours, that's what happens. That's what happens, of course. Disarded versus MK Javier. I'm getting too old for this. Let me press the button. Let's go, chat. Fido, Fido, everything. Our brain is getting, is getting yeah, tired I'm, already. My brain is fried already, fast. After all that gameplay. Two more. Let's go. We got two more in us. Oh, wow. This hard. I'm about to run with this. That wasn't a confirm with Striker, but still. Oh, he, he blocks the pink right this time. I'm surprised Javier didn't go for Striker on his uh on his loadout this time. You can see the slopian. He's blocks. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. oh, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Javier on 9 HP, our Lopian Warlord. The down two on the teleport. Oh my <laughs> dude. He's so locked in. Zardin is so locked in today. He's like, brother, I am taking us to the finals right now. We are doing this together. I get hit by that. No shimmy attempt. Oh, the down two goes to the trade. I like that from the Zardin. Sacrificing health. Just to be in the lead a little bit longer. That is going to be the round. And guys, we have a final, final, this final. Is, this is too close for my taste. Like, literally, the Zardin and MK Javier. The Battle of Giants. I can't even remember how many times we saw this matchup throughout the last years. And Khan in the chat, thank you so much, brother, for the gift itself. Javier finds the opening. Oh, that Glaive. I think he likes using Chameleon because it makes his neutral a bit stronger and it opens up the combo potential as well. Just like that. Javier on the lead on the set, though. No punish. Wait. The adjustment as well. No, MK oh. Javier here in this final round. He's going crazy. Wait a minute, though. I mean, Javier just needs like a glaive. He needs a glaive to hit and come back, really, to get the chip done. So he's in the good position. Decided, though. He's still working a little bit harder this time. No way, no way. 
he clipped him before he woke up. And, I, uh, oh. and that is gonna seal his faith. And MK Javier, we are seeing more teabags. Fabs, it, it's getting out of hand in this 2v2 season finale. That was crazy. That was crazy. And now our top three is <laughs> is it locked in. And I hope you know what that means, Fabs. Next one is going to be another money match. Yep. Oh, the bags at the end, too. <laughs> of course, we have the replay of that. Most professional event out there. Coming up next, the rematch, everyone. Oh. Faisal and Moody. The team from the Middle East are going to be East. MK Javier and Creed again. I think uh, Moody soloed this team, by the way, on his own. Faisal didn't even play last time they faced, uh, like a few rounds ago. Let's see what happens this time. I'm definitely excited to see. It's a little money match. It really is a money match. Oh, that's no way he almost converted from that. That would have been so illegal. I like what I'm seeing from Moody, though. Yes, this Melina is straight out of hell in my opinion. Yo, the boss block on the first hit of Spear. Too clean with it. Too clean with it. Ooh, the hat is coming. The patience. Nice blocks. Good punish. Insane awareness. I like what I'm seeing. And that's like something Melina has. And Melina is low-key strong in every range in this game. He's, especially with Laohat as well. has so much full screen presence. He can get in from anywhere. and punish you from... I think 60% on the screen she can punish you. Laohat teleport maybe? Oh, for hey, sure. Moody, that was double opening and the second time we find the hit confirm. The party just Round two, fight. Oh, Javier loves to play this range. This is the range where he can hit you and you can't really hit him that well. I see my boy Stormbreaker in the chat. Thank you so much, brother, for the five gifted subs. Hope everything is all right over there. And Rada Adams is saying this has to be one of the best streams of MK1 in the FGC. Thank you. Man, Fabs, this community, they are way too kind. Thank you for putting a smile on our face as well every single day. And the only person who doesn't have a smile on his face right now is MK Javier because he's getting comboed. Oh, we got Mick Power on block. He could have won potato there. Oh. Not sure if he could have got the fatal without Javier breaking. But anyways, we go into final round here of game number one. Three sticks of butter here for both of these players. So tough to punish. And he presses immediately. Moody, you are a demon, by the way. Hope you know that. It looks like we're going to get another nail by to set fast, in my opinion. I hope so. These guys are going the full distance right now. Just the ball roll that punish, big punish. No striker available, but he can still break though. Go for this mix, incoming mix down three. Oh, he blocked him correctly. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Seventeen damage. <laughs> what? No. what? Doesn't work. Immediate check from Javier. If that was Tekken. That would have worked, but not in this game though. So the rematch is happening right now as we speak. Let's take a look at this entire bracket again, Fabs, because let's be honest, this shit was stacked. Like, this is so stacked. We man. started with eight teams, <laughs> aka 16 players. Reaper Hamu was there. We had King Gambler, Pal, Sparks, Hourglass of Rain. Oh boy, oh boy, Makoran, Rotha. And now we're slowly getting to that sweet grand final where VGY and Kanimani are waiting for us. Yeah, like the, the fact that VGY and Scorpion are at the top of this bracket, and they need to be, need to lose eight lives to pretty much lose the whole Grand Finals, so. 
All right, let's go. Game number two. Javier already up a game one Moody. It's not like it was last time. This was different. It's like Javier made it patient. <laughs> Yo, the, the, the scorpion spin actually interrupted the ball roll. It's so hard to whip punish when he's doing the spear. Maybe teleport is what's best in that situation. Nice. There we go. Neutral ducking whenever Scorpion jumps back because you can interrupt teleport if you're crouching. Really smart. He tried to pick it up but can't get it. Reminds me a little bit of MK11 when Moody there sitting down one in neutral trying to catch that teleport. Oh. Wait a minute. Now we get. Oh, dude. This is, yep, this the is combo ball lord is back, Fabs. The fact that all these combos loop into each other with the vortex of Lao Hat and Hearts of Blockable. And you have to pray that the Hearts of Blockable protection comes through, otherwise, you will be dead. Where was that jump from Javier? Hold on a minute. suppress but not your turn just yet gotta respect the folks special in this game what moody is the melina player that i've seen so much in my life like he's the only one that does air ball roll i, I don't see anybody else doing air ball roll it's just him smiles way from moody to avoid it insane oh. punish wait wait no i could have could have gone to fatal because javier didn't have breaker Oh, that's going to haunt him a little bit. Because if he went to Fatal, then he could have mixed him just one more time and get the kill, but he went for the opposite route. Fight. <laughs> Abel and Jesswell, I hate both of you. Welcome to the stream. Unblockable protection kicks in. He blocks everything. Oh, oh that is good. That is just clean. Striker sponsorship. Giving a pickup since uh, 2023, September. Oh, wait. It's dangerous because. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, Moody doesn't have Breaker. Another no way from full speed. Like the reaction time from this man is. It is. Wait. It looked like an Big input, input error. error. Yes. Big input error. My haunt him forever. I'm not going to lie. My haunt him forever. I can't lie to you. All right, low 40 damage now. He's gonna drop. What's for breakfast, four, four, four. Fabs? I thought a teleport was coming from Javier. No. Down two. Oh, he goes for ball roll, because I would have gone for down two right there to get the punish, but he goes ball roll. He's, he's a bit more, more risky than I am. But now, one life apiece. Fabs, you know what I just realized? We have the 1v1, our regular League Series Grand Finals coming up very, very soon as well. Fabs, do we, ha do we have it in us to commentate another full week of Grand Finals of every single day, back to back to back? Of course we do. Of course we do. Of course we do. I might have to ask the owner of this thing uh, if I can get a pay raise. Oh shit, that's me. <laughs> no, basically it's not me. Basically it's this community. <laughs> so you guys are our boss, actually. Guys, are we allowed to run the finals for season three? Please. Not seek glory. Round one. Only thing better would be if NRS drops the update and we get crossplay or whatever, like or, or just just rooms right before season three finals comes through just to make our lives a bit easier. <laughs> so yo, booty. Yo, booty. Oh, that conversion. Booty. Bro. Oh, booty. Yeah, the chat is talking about the conversion as well. Quite impressive oh, yeah. what we see today from these players. It's patience. Patience. You don't have to commit as much when you have life it against uh, Scorpion. Faith for the mistake. Bound to happen. Oh, Laoha getting hit there. Kind of huge for him. Oh. The sidewalk up throw. Perfectly timing it. 
<laughs> Fab's DDG in the chat is saying he just checked, and we actually have more than 50% of the entire MK1 viewership here on our channel. MK, oh Ramir, carries out. God. Wait, this is going to be 44 again? Pretty sure. The scaling in this game makes no sense sometimes. Forty-five this time. I don't know. Oh and no! Down, down. Two from downtown. Moody, great awareness. Round two. Truly an icon of of uppercuts. No flash block. Oh, there we go. The la late flash block. Chase down. Your Moody is on set point right now to go Moody to grand so finals. Consistent. On his own. This guy's crazy. I mean, just, just, I mean, just one life, honestly, to get Creed out of his cage. I forgot. This is only one, only the first set. Can't believe it. Wait a minute now. No. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. That's not a punish. What? What's the frame did on that move? Fraudulent. This foot teaser, just walking. That's what called him. Tries to floss with the last hit. Ooh, almost got the conversion. Air to air. air, to air. This time, Javier, a little bit quicker. Oh, but now, now this is like literally check situation. Moody no way. No. The gravity didn't allow that to happen. This man has to stop with these freaking conversions. I've literally never seen something like that in my entire life. That would have been insane, but it was two rolls in the combo. It, it, it was so tough, though. Oh, but now Javier has so much momentum on his side right now. That was in the punish? Oh, could have been it. Didn't believe it. Life leads are pretty much the same right now, Rip. Man, this is. These matches oh, are insane. Good stuff from Moody. Little like spike, but we're still going. Might be spectator only. Oh, the throw needs one overhead, one poke, one Lao hat. Teleport. Teleport is being waited. Does it on block, but once oh. again, Moody. <laughs> Excuse me, I got a little bit distracted here by Can you please rip in the chat? Who decided, you know what? Here are 14 gifted subs to the community. Khan, thank you so much, brother. Moody eliminating MK Javier. It's time to go crazy, chat. These sets are an absolute blast to watch thank you so much for being here everyone thank you for the support hope you enjoy the show wow creed it is your time to step up and bring your boy to the grand finals because ooh. so all eyes on creed right now Fabs, can Creed bring it back? Moody and Faisal are so close to qualifying here for that grand final match versus VGY and Kanimani. But you are still a commoner. Commoner? Okay. <laughs> Playing with the, with the King Gambler pick here. The, jo the, the, the Joey special, you know. Johnny Goro, but Creed representing. Ooh. Turn. Oh, he missed it. Missed time it. That could have been a big punish for Moody. Oh, 
Big jump three. I like uh, the pickup. Uh, mm. We're literally seeing conversions today all over the place in the yeah. weirdest situations. And I love that these players come up with them on the fly. That's where you can literally see the level these guys are playing at. No way. Moody is so good at just avoiding that last hit. You know, forcing you to shadow kick him pretty much in every situation. Grab. No way. Moody is still breathing. He wants to get that breaker off of uh, Creative before the last game. Oh, that wasn't even a punish. Round two, fight. Nice, hitting him and Goro. That's 20 seconds with no cameo. Maybe 10. The opening being looked for here. Ooh. It's tough, man. It's tough. No breaker, though. Moody Three. back against the wall, but found his way out. Never mind. <laughs> One string into <laughs> Lao Hat, and that's all you need, baby. Naken. The up lock. Oh, my. Filthy, filthy stuff here. He's always aware of what is punishable from the opponent, you know. Really good player. Punish! He's getting the weirdest punish. I've never seen this in my life, man. Freed, we are taking the lead. We might need Faisal after this. Faisal needs to come out the shadows. No way, just one through his way out of the, the corner. And it's crazy how no, not a single person floss blocked Moody's one through string from Melina. Not a single person. The way he just puts that string out, it's just really hard to floss block it. Can we talk? Oh, that was nice. Hitting cameo and the character. Moody. Oh, he is optimizing, Fabs. He is optimizing. Oh. <laughs> no way, no way. You drop! I can't. No, I'm done. He dropped what over the for the low hat. I genuinely, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, how do you commentate this? I don't know, man. I don't know. It just sounded like a 25-year-old car in the winter, which is not starting. <laughs> Howdy is saying Rip just turned into a seagull for a moment. I'm sorry, chat. And guys, if you think this is over, after this grand final, perhaps we got one more in us. One more in us, baby. Gate Mansion. Where I'm from, princesses are taught to kick ass. What a Longest player. stream since Brother quite some time, perhaps. Uh, we're going to crack the four-hour mark. Oh, my God. Eh? Reminiscing of the good old MK11 <laughs> the good old days. days yeah. Five-hour streams every day, you know, that's how it is. And let's go again. Oh wait, Creed's going up. No, go available. I think he mistimed it. Unblockable protection definitely gets in. Or Creed is just a god for blocking that. But anyways, one life apiece here. And Creed still has to go through Faisal. If he takes out Rudy. The kidnap. Oh, the adjustment is so clean. It really is. He's microduct and yeah. Okay, okay, this might be. And full cash out incoming. How much damage? I know they're pressing Remember, buttons right now. If he does 450, he kills. Because this is a 900 Johnny. Yep, he kills. 450. 470, actually. Bro, wow. it's close to 480, even. 900 Johnny. This is how it is. Round two, 
fight. Not enough HP. The Marie's just been so consistent in these last hit situations, man. He's getting those last hits, the big chunky 47%, the, the mix-ups, all when he's like low HP. Most clutch player award goes to him, probably, this whole tournament. We might have to add something like that in the future, Fabs. Like, most clutch player of the week or something. The, the Rip Serena Awards, end of the season. Biggest balls goes to Moody. Oh, do that. <laughs> Don't know. Look at him trying to micro on, on 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 his plus frames. Like, what? This is disgusting. Would have been good if he hit that, though. Moody is on life support. Don't has access to Fatal Blow anymore. But has access to insane combos. Goes for the setup. The lot had didn't connect. No floss block on the one two. That's all he needs though. Doesn't need too much. And even gets the hype build. Oh wait a second. Yo, are we gonna get the, the, the hype special? Look at this damage, oh, and especially if you keep that turn. Who oh, breaks the armor? Safe jump, gotta respect it. Wait, wait, Creed it. He can take it, he can take it. Safe jump into armor breaker and then safe jump into grab. He's mixing up Moody so bad here. Oh, but no way he armors to it. This is gonna be so close once again. And he no, just did it. Here comes Creed. We see d -backs. Oh, the bag. Where is the love chat? There's no love here. There's no love in the arena. Not today. One step closer for the top two. So we unlocked the final boss. Faisal now has to take over since his teammate is eliminated. But don't forget, Creed only one remaining life. Now, can Creed make the absolute craziest run to Grand Finals ever? That would be wild. Needs two games. Needs two games from Faisal. Faisal can go Baraka, he can go Tanya, he can go Shang. He has so many options right now. Goes from the Baraka, the good old reliable. Oh, but Creed is character locked on the Goro. He is, <laughs> yes. Has to stick with Johnny Goro. Okay, what do we see? We need to log in. They're taking their time. They're like, you guys can stay five more minutes there. Place your bets now. Katana will it's, it's, it's time. <laughs> All right. Let's see if they can take out the the double Middle East team. Ballsy start from Creed. Up lock, not in this house. Oh, Ooh. with the help of Striker. I like what I'm seeing. Faisal. Do they you think they are nervous for like money oh, on the line press. so close to grand finals? Wake Wait, up, did press, Fatal, did press? didn't press, double dash. Big whiff, but Striker is there to save the day. Oh, if you whiff somebody, Striker always got you when you whiff. <laughs> Faisal just said, Goro, get out. Oh, that was clean. Faisal needs one more round for the top two placement. For his teammate and him. Nice, this nice to safe jump. Armor's out of it. Interesting.
Okay. Uh, uh. Safe jump. Oh, 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 oh. Just like that, gets his turn back. Faisal robbing turns. Wake up down two as well. Good awareness from Creed. Oh, wait. Everything is working for Trina. No, the overhead. The Desert and Takinata special lives on Faisal's blood right now. Creed still not breaking. Oh, 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 the Flaws Buck is so clutch. Poke special coming through. It did. The Poke special did come through, but not enough to beat the Shadow Cake. Guys, final round for Faisal, and Creed needs two more. Ooh. According to carry. But now it's for breakfast to get back. Three, we got throw. What do we got? Faisal is Nothing. trying to outspace. Oh, knocks down Goro. Like, get the hell out of here. I feel a little bit bad for Goro. <laughs> the cameos in this game get hit so many times, man. <laughs> Poor guys just want to help out. Oh, but now it's looking rough for Creed. Small hits. Good grab. No way. He sneaks that grab. Striker available. Safe jump. He, I think he both special. No, jump back. And this oh, time, God. Faisal was ready. Wow. And our top two is definitely. Perhaps we get after, <laughs> honey money. after more than three and a half hours, we made it to the grand final of our 2v2 season. And that means every Shao fan in the chat is probably happy right now. Video Games Yo and Kanimani are gonna meet Faisal and Muri in grand finals. The last match of the day, that's the moment we waited for. Everyone, get your channel predictions in and Fabs, maybe you want to explain them how it exactly works again when you join the grand finals from the lower side. Okay, from the lower side, since you already lost on the upper side, you need to defeat VGY in Kanimani twice. One to reset and bring him down to your bracket with you, and one more to secure the lead. So, in theory, VGY and Kanimani need to lose uh, a life's total. Yes, a life's total. That is crazy. Fabs, uh, that sounds like one of the hardest missions on this earth. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's tough. Moody needs to lock in. Moody and Faisal, they have to bring the A game now. <laughs> you couldn't handle oh, with the Katana outlet. piece, Faisal. On the loser side. Kani Mani on the upper. Yeah, I got this. And... I don't even no believe way. what I'm reading there. Pumping no Jim Red is saying if we see a bracket reset in Grand Finals, he is gonna add another 100 euro to the prize pool. Oh my god. If we see a reset, there's an extra 100 for the winners. I mean, for the prize pool in general. I love this. I like this. He I likes love it chaos. as well. Pumping Jim Red, thank you so much. But right now, Moody feeling the pressure, facing one of the best players in the world. Look at this reaction time from Kani. Oh, Faisal with the Chameleon Katana. Not working on his favor so far. And just like that, getting closer for that round end. So confident the Shadow King is going to kill. And he gets hyped on its side. Ooh, wait, that's the only time I've seen... Johnny poking back, someone poking back and not get launched by that. It's I'm, I'm pretty right sure now. this is Faisal, right? Yes, it's Faisal. It's Faisal. Faisal was the one that plays uh, Katana yes. and uh, Chameleon. But I can understand it. I mean, Moody potentially needing a little break. Oh yeah, Moody played so many games on his own, man. <laughs> No, no confirm. Oh wait, he can confirm with Melina. I love what I'm seeing. And I mean, after so many hours, this is going to be an insane grand final fest. Oh, oh, oh! No way, the wake up Melina ball roll from Chameleon, dude. We love to see that. Wake up, Balro. Lives in our hearts. 
Oh no, what punish from Fizz? I feel like he got that perfectly spaced. Oh wait, the auto correction messed him up again. Another victim of the cause. Ooh, the chasing game. No way he was able to catch that. Safe jump. Ooh, ooh. One left out. And here is Kalimani. First life loss for Team Moody and Faisal. You chose Do you think they're nervous, Fabs? Johnny Cage. Oh, for sure. I mean, this is big money involved right now. <laughs> I mean, 750 euro, like $850 or something. That is quite a good chunk of money for, for playing a tournament. Yeah, 800 beans, bro. This is good. This is good. This is good. I'm sure they're all pretty sweaty right now. They're, they're mm. shaking in their boots. I mean, 850? Abel has to commentate 850 arena for that. <laughs> he has one trophy <laughs> <laughs> arena. <laughs> oh, I love this. Check us out. To Dripalicious single people. You are truly relentless, Cage. Round one. Fight. Oh, I would have gotten Shimmy there. Oh. Sprite's up big, but it's tough, man. The opening up a katana as good as Fat Fives out was really, really difficult. So. So the kind of money he's playing here is definitely something I, I respect a lot. And Kani Mani once again seeing the future for whatever reason. I don't understand how he does it all the time. He does see the future. He does see the future. He's different. <laughs> you will be Round back two. Fight. And of course, Ooh. the big shout out to 620 people live. And of course, everyone watching this on YouTube later on. Thank you so much hello, for hello. supporting the content and for just being a part of this. You're right here kicking at 3 and 45. You're out of the room is strong here on this tournament. Honestly, I have been doing this finale so far. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Wait a second. I feel like Kani Mani's not even um, mixing his options too much. He's playing by the book right now. He is just fundamentally such a strong player. Yeah. Like you see with Raiden, he does some some scammer behavior type stuff. But with Johnny, he's a bit more honest, even though it's Johnny, you know. There we go. Finds and again, the hidden situational guy. awareness from Carney. And now we are playing the mind games. Fatal already, while Moody is the last man standing. Oh, can Moody do the impossible? The reset. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. I need to see that final chat prediction. So 62% overall, VGY Kanimani, 360,000 channel points on them. Ooh. And 217k on Faisal and Moody. A lot of people spent a lot of points, and I can understand why. Phenomenal matchup. It's a cinema. Do we get any benefit for uh, being in winners? Yeah, of course, it is a bracket reset, Jordan. Regular uh, competitive rule set that means they have to beat yes, you guys sir. twice. If you haven't lost and you're going into uh, the grand finals, then hey. Uh, video games, you're saying, I don't know how it works in team play. It's basically the same. Yeah, okay. if you were supposed to get eliminated, you get to loser brackets. You know? It's a regular reset. They have to beat you in two sets. And now Moody, once again, trying to make this work, but Kani Mani looks, looks quite strong right now. Oh, 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 balls. Safe jump. I already know what's gonna happen. I feel like I'm, I became a robot just from watching this, this gameplay. I can literally pick up Johnny right now and play this. Oh, no flash block attempt. Moody still hasn't been flash blocked.
Man, Fabs, who can stop Kani? Oh my god, he is on his own game right now. Oh! No way he read the wake up buttons! Dude, these, these kids are too good, man. We have to, we, we have to stop these kids. Big whiff and Kalimani once again outspacing the shit out of Muri. Oh, we even did the same that is a big interruption. Mistake, and so far Kalimani hasn't lost a single life. They are on tournament point, they are on season match point, and they are on money point. Our season, our, our 2v2 winners might be Vito Iconi, unless Moody just, just, just goes completely berserk. Yes. Do you think Moody might switch character? He, I, I, know he I don't think rated. so. I don't think so. Honey Money's just, just too strong, man. On another level today. Melina. Johnny K. Kung Lao. All right, lock picks have been locked. Treasure Let's see. Chamber. I hear you're not a very good actor. When did you start reading the trades? Round one. Who is going to take this tournament? Who's going to take this season? I like what I'm seeing. Honey money here is like, you guys need to go quick. I got you. Look at these combos. Safe jump again. Oh, even if he whips the safe jump. Yo, this staggers. Oh my god. I think Kani Mani is getting a little bit too confident, Fabs. I mean, look at this yes. gameplay. It probably just parried on his face as well. Oh my. There we go. Loki, yeah. A moody win would be beneficial for the whole economy right now. I'm seeing these, <laughs> Just throw these predictions. Just the throw from Kani. Chip oh. out city. Look at the active frames on this. Meaty shadow kick is how convinced he is he can take it. No, no way. No. no way. No way. Oh my. What? This could be a flawless rip. Safe jump. Grab Honey, it. Stop it. He might product. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big combo. There we go. Oh my god. That was like he was on a train right now. He jumps out. Oh, but the whiffs. This could be the tournament. This could be a tournament right now. One opening is all you need. Okay, Moody found the moment to strike. That is the round for Moody. Finally, being up on the game. This is what he needs. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Me too, man. Ooh. Moody trying to stay alive in this set. Floss block, he floss blocked it for the first time in this whole tournament. Someone floss blocked that move, but no punish yet. So, Moody's still going up again. There we go. First person to, block, to punish that. It's whole top eight. Yo, Moody still alive. Ooh, he pokes. Oh, Up whoa, Oak whoa, City. even the optimal punish. I'm pretty sure. He's not going to get it. He got no, no it, Mark. <laughs> Raw ball yeah. roll. And this is going to seal his faith. We officially have our first 2v2 tech team champion. And it's Kani Mani at Video Games Yo. Congratulations. Brutality. He's used to all. I mean, what a night. What a day this has been. That Ooh. was literally one of the hypest and at the same time one of the most exhausting tournaments we hosted in a while, Fabs. Oh After close to four hours, we made it 
and we have a champion. At the end of it, once again, I want to say thank you to every single player out there who competes in our events on a daily basis for making the arena what it is today. I mean, we would be nothing without them. So thank you guys so much for all the time spent. Hope you enjoyed it. But just like that, even though I have tears running down my face as always, Fabs, it is over. Another season in the books. Of course, only the 2v2 one. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the generosity. And uh, as always, we are going to be back tomorrow. Unbelievable that I say that, but we yes. stay <laughs> on the grind for the MK community. For now, we are out and uh, you guys better stay safe. Thank you so much. And Fabs, of course, a big, big shout out to you for all thank the time you, spent you, here as well. You, thank you.